for having the party, people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back. Sorry we missed you. Um, we did. Yeah, I was working last um, Saturday. And, and Well, I was working all weekend. And, yeah, we tried to see if we could schedule it. But yeah, it just didn't work out. Sorry. Yeah. Rarely happens, but uh, happens sometimes. True. But we're here. And uh, we're just hanging out again. It feels good to just be chilling again. Uh-huh. Uh Lots of stuff happening this week. Last week, at least, my microphone came unplugged. I don't know if you even heard that last sentence. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, and um, so, uh, well, first off, I got new glasses. I know you can't tell because, like, all oh, my glasses did? Look, look the same. Yeah. <laughs> so wait a minute, Eric. Uh, where's my uh, glasses at? Are these real glasses, or are you still buying reading glasses from the drugstore? Okay, this time is the first time I haven't bought glasses from the drugstore. <laughs> they are reading glasses, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like Foster Grant, you know, sells like those cheap, you know, $15 uh, reading glasses uh, at Rite Aid. Sure, That's sure, what I've yeah. been wearing since like 2014. But I don't understand that. So, like, I finally got to the point where sometimes my close focus is a little bit fuzzy. So I actually yeah. bro broke down and bought some reading glasses for those rare occasions when I'm doing something and I have to read. But like, right. how can you walk around with them on? Because they're only good for up close. Or is your vision yeah. like so bad on both ends that they somehow fix both? Yeah, I, I think... It. Yeah, it's like my focal length is just like um, further than it should be in all focal lengths. Like I, I'm I'm focusing further than I should. So if I bring it all back, it seems to all fit. Like the the further away stuff is in focus, the close up stuff's in focus. It all it, everything's in focus. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess I just got lucky in that way. Yeah. So, <laughs> hmm. uh, but anyway. So I went to Foster Grant's website because I'm like, man, these are ancient and they're plastic and they're rubbing off and it's pieces of crap. So I bought these um, for like uh, uh, thirty dollars, <laughs> which is like twice oh, as expensive yeah. as my other ones. Like I got, I got a bunch of reading glasses on Amazon for like five bucks. Oh really? Yeah. So these are like super fancy. They have like rubber on the inside and like, uh, I don't know. They're just like, a, they're a lot lighter too. And they don't squeeze my head like the other ones. They're just super, I was like, oh, okay, man, I should have just bought some more expensive ones years ago. Now I'm looking at the 80, or no, uh, there's a, yeah, there's an $80 pair on, uh, on Foster Grant's website. I'm eyeballing now my, hmm, should I upgrade to the luxury reading glasses? Oh, there they are. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Everything's a little fuzzy out there. But yeah. Man, that's that's perfect. I can see my hand perfect. <laughs> Boy -faked. Uh, But anyway, so yeah. Uh, I, I tried to get the same shape so, you know, so they look the same. So no one would notice. Yeah. <laughs> um. But uh, also, two days ago, I got a tooth pulled. Yeah, that's right. So my wisdom tooth up here on the top, it was um, just needing to come out for a... So all of a sudden, know. you just started experiencing... What was it? You had pain? Yeah, yeah. It started hurting. And, um, you know, drinking cold water would hurt it. Uh, you know, anything sweet would hurt it. So I, I don't really like sweets anyway, but if I ate something sweet, I'd be like, like I had some honey ham and it hurt it. And I'm like, Ooh, cause it was sweet, you know, fruit hurts it too. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, okay. So, uh, one day it just started hurting and giving me headaches. And I mean, it was a crazy a pain. I was like, this is, this is insane. I gotta get it out. Gotta get it out. Yank it out. So, yeah, I just I went down there and was like, take it out. And I did. <laughs> Same day. And uh, it was pretty quick. So a lot so better I, now. I just saw a comment um, asking, what what age did you start wearing glasses, Eric? 
Uh, and this is, I've always found this very fascinating because when we met, you did not wear glasses. However, right. dot, 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 tell the rest of the story. Yeah. So, uh, I had glasses before I met Daryl. I started wearing glasses at around three, maybe if my sister's in the chat room, she'll know, um, she'll remember <laughs> better than I will. And, um, yeah, so I started wearing glasses when I was really little, and then I stopped. I stopped needing glasses. I, I had I had like cross eyed though. That was the point. That was really? the thing. Yeah, That's and crazy. um, yeah, and then uh, and then my eyes were corrected, and I was like, "Hey, woo, okay, cool." And then somewhere after like ten years old or something is when I didn't need glasses anymore. And then we met when we were twelve, and then I didn't need glasses until uh around 2014 i guess i was about 35 or 6 somewhere in my 30s i started wearing glasses again so yeah that was strange i, I remember as a kid seeing pictures of you when you were young and i was like what the what you yeah glasses? yeah totally yeah because you know that is totally not the normal experience people usually wind up needing glasses like I don't know, after ten, or maybe around ten, and then they have yeah, to wear them so. forever. People don't usually; their eyes don't usually get better. Right. All of a that's sudden, true. when they're young, and then and then. Yeah, I guess so. Years. In fact, so I, was, I, have... I always thought that was odd that you used to wear glasses but didn't need them anymore. Yeah, <laughs> um, I have a uh, a picture here of my fifth grade class picture oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. there it is right next to and Patrick. let's see if everybody can point out where i'm at i'm not gonna tell you because you'll probably know but as you can see i have glasses in this picture i'll uh let's see let me zoom in a little bit better <laughs> But uh, yeah, I had I, so I had glasses there, and, and that was fifth grade. So maybe I want to say probably sixth grade or, or fifth grade is when I got rid of them. And then because I, we met in seventh grade, this is two two grades before. <laughs> so yeah, pretty crazy. Yep. Uh, Bubba Fett's ship said bottom right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Um, Let's see, can I keep zooming in? Let's see, can I just like go crazy with the zoom? There it is. I'm right there, center screen, right next to Patrick. Let's see, is Keith in here too? Yeah, there's Keith in the back row. Oh, and I see someone else. There's Brandon. In oh, who, where? Top row, uh, second from the right. left. Oh. Carol, that's Carol. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> she went there in yeah, fifth grade. She went to um, Randolph in sixth grade before we went. Oh uh, uh, uh. so, uh, yeah, yeah. She, she was still at Holy Family then. She was in the um, uh, uh, King Arthur versus El Paso video. If, mm -hmm. if you guys seen that, my my uh, <laughs> my high school girlfriend. She was trapped in the closet. <laughs> 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 wow <laughs> that's actually <laughs> incredibly accurate um uh <laughs> oh boy uh, anyways uh oh yeah yeah so uh yeah um my locale looks a little different this time right it does yeah uh, look I, I i was practicing some some cinematic lighting um, it was actually, we'll get into that later, but you were talking about the, the movies that made us. And so I was watching some of that. And, um, oh, really? Yeah. We, we, can, so we can talk what, about that. What did you watch? Because I was going to talk about that too, because I, uh, season two just came out and I loved that series. Between last um, night when you told me about it and, and now I, I watched season one and two. <laughs> wow well I, oh wait i didn't watch forrest gump i didn't I think, either and i think there's another I one i did i haven't watched yet but but i i kind of cherry picked you know 
Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what usually what I do. Uh, yeah, it got me all excited about filmmaking and stuff, and so I was like, ooh, I'm gonna... But, but essentially, ladies and gentlemen, I am exactly where I always do the, the, the show, except I just flip the camera. You're looking at the other part of my office, which has a guest bed. The computer, all the computer with all the monitors is right in front of me. It actually, is, it's, it's a more convenient setup because now I don't, I have one less computer because I usually have to have my laptop to see the chat. And now I'm just using all those monitors. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Same place. It looks nice though. It looks, it looks fancy. Super fancy. Oh, and, and talking about cinematic lighting real quick. Oh, is that your Alexa talking all of a sudden? What is going on? She's playing know. music and stuff. Alexa, stop. Stop. <coughs> that was weird. That I said weird. fancy, and she started playing some song called Fancy, I guess. Anyway. <laughs> so, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but hmm. for a quick tip on cinematic lighting, mm -hmm. put your key light opposite of the camera. Which sounds... It doesn't sound very intuitive, because you, if you ever studied video production and all that stuff three-point lighting is like key light 45 fill light 45 hair light but if you watch a movie the key lights always on the opposite side of the camera yeah you're always looking into the shadow right <laughs> you know because it yeah. looks more interesting it creates more you know definition of of, of an object of a 3d object you know and, right yeah so um watch any movie and you'll start seeing it like oh yeah there it is 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 of course mm -hmm. there's always exceptions to the rule but i mean that's yeah a quick, a quick cheat on how to get cinematic light yeah this is this is oh, hold on let me get my this is my youtube lighting right here hi everyone <laughs> <laughs> brightly lit <laughs> evenly no shadows yes <laughs> Um, but, uh, so, so that show, uh, the movies that made us yes. super cool show on Netflix. If, if no one's seen it, it's, uh, they, they tell behind the scenes type stuff. It, it's basically, um, telling the story about how the movie became to be. And that's what I like m most about it. It's not just a typical behind the scenes, you know, like you're on the yeah, set. It's not really how it was made. Yeah. yeah it's, you know, it's about how it was made or yeah yeah how how it became how it how was it, birthed yeah. right you know like how it was greenlit or how it was funded how which, it was you know which the, hearing those idea. stories sounds it, it makes it so more I, I don't know you you watch a movie and you think oh, oh these people are geniuses i can never achieve that level of something because you know they just naturally have all of this but but when you actually find out how things just like flop all over the place, pitfalls, things go wrong. Um, yeah. And then what we see is the final outcome. And it's not always what they intended, you know, but, but mm -hmm. we just accept whatever. And then we think, oh my God, that's like the perfect thing. Um, on the other side of it, like the, the hell that they've gone through and, and all the mistakes that they still see and we and we can attest to this. We've made movies, you know. We've got our own movies to say, "Oh God, I hate that scene," or blah blah. blah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's 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 cool to see like you know the big movies and, and hear. Yeah, all and it's always like the movie just was almost not going to get made. Yeah. Um, you know, like like uh, between today and yesterday when I told you about it, I watched Dirty Dancing. Yeah. Um, Vestron. I had no idea. I know. I was like, oh my god, Vestron. One Vestron of the biggest pictures. in history was made by Vestron Video. It, their first movie too yeah. ever. They didn't even know how to make a movie. Uh, and then I watched uh, Pretty Woman, and then I watched cool. uh, Back to the Future, and then Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was always like we could almost not get this movie done, or it was almost going to suck, and it was almost going to be a straight to video, and then. You know, things just align perfectly, and it's like, wow, that's crazy. Um, but anyway, it's a great series. It's really fun to watch. Uh, the last one I haven't even seen yet is uh, Forrest Gump, so I'll probably watch that yeah, one. Yeah, I haven't soon. seen it either. 
Um, but I, yeah. I watched uh, Die Hard yesterday. <laughs> um, yeah, the Die Hard one was really great. Yeah, John McTiernan is hilarious. He's With the so model? Nice. And that yeah, model his water bottle. He's a, yeah, he's always holding it. Yeah. But, but and I... I I just uh, it was funny how they kept making fun of him about how like he, he's never excited about anything <laughs> and then it comes to him and he's like i tried to put humor in the movie that was my idea <laughs> and even that is like humorless <laughs> uh i've se i'm seeing uh people asking in the chat room if we look at the chat we do we're just we're just talking uh about this a uh, couple people are talking about my hat. Yeah, and... we're warming up. We haven't we haven't talked in, in a while, and we got a, we got lots to talk about. So yeah, we'll, we'll pay attention to you. Don't worry. I'm <laughs> I'm talking to the ch the chat is up there. Oh yeah, I should be gesticulating to the. camera. I see my chat is right there, so I'm kind of almost looking at the camera. So it's kind of so I'm always looking at it, guys. So if I see my name or if I see something weird, I'll. I'll... I'll say it's, actually someone is asking what is your favorite cheap wine daryl because <laughs> you drink wine i don't drink cheap wine oh that's <laughs> <weird>. <laughs> uh though though um today's offering is speaking of movies from Francis Ford Coppola. Oh, Coppola, nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I've been to his his winery. It's fucking amazing. Really cool place. <laughs> um, he's got he's got a museum of like a bunch of stuff from his movies. Mm -hmm. The the desk from Godfather, um, the the armor from Dracula. A whole a whole bunch of stuff from his movies is is at this winery. So you can go and drink Where is wine. That at? It's in, in um, Sonoma. Sonoma. Yeah, it's just just north of San Francisco. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Um, but yeah, so this is Savion Blanc, um, and it was like uh, super on sale, and I was like, sure, yes, I super love all of this. Super sale. Brands. Yeah. So, so, uh, so what is yeah. super on sale? How much? Uh, this was twelve ninety nine. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. So, under fifteen dollars yeah. is cheap wine. Yeah. But if it's on sale and it's actually more than fifteen, then yeah, it wouldn't be. Then, then it's called wine. a good deal. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I bought a I bought a Jetta one time for one dollar. I wouldn't say it's a cheap $1. car. One dollar. You know, it's it's a good deal. It was yeah, a fantastic right. deal. It was a good deal. Yeah. I bought it from from my sister, but you know, one dollar. Can't beat it. Yes, Angela Linderman. Um never no and this goes for everyone. Never drink cheap wine. Cheap wine will fucking kick your ass. Yeah. The, it does. Just spend the extra money and uh you won't feel near as bad. <laughs> or, yeah. or just drink less. Or not at all. Yeah, or not at all. Don't Eric alcohol, does look. Kids. Eric does look nineties. I look nineties. Uh, it's probably the flannel. It's not a flannel, but it kind of looks like a flannel. Yeah, it totally yeah. does. And uh, and the beanie and the hat. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Saturday morning. Oh yeah, Saturday morning. Good, good morning. Good Saturday morning to you. It's Sunday morning in Australia. Eric got a car off the dollar Good menu. <laughs> hey, Tracy, what's up? I did. The dollar menu car <laughs> experience. <laughs> well, that uh, was from your sister, right? That was your sister's job. Yeah, yeah. It was from my sister. She needed to have a receipt. It was for some reason. She didn't want to give it away. Maybe tax stuff or something. I, I don't know. It was some reason. I was like, sure, here's a dollar. <laughs> um uh mike johnson these guys oh wait oh these guys know background lighting the rooms are aesthetically pleasing <laughs> <laughs> each in their own way right this one's completely different from daryl's but still uh hello eric and daryl are you going to create a video game a video game oh playlist <laughs> i could have kept reading a, a video game playlist home videos from the 80s and 90s we don't have 
mean, um, well, here, here's here's a quick reality. We don't have what we don't have. We, we don't. We didn't make videos of us playing video games, um, except for maybe a few. The few that you've seen. We don't have like an abundance of those. Right, and so. the ones we have now are, are like it's just literally the screen like we have a, a, a long playthrough of hero quest heroes quest one king's quest six uh there's five. a bunch of me playing uh gradius on nintendo oh that's right. or five yeah, yeah yeah but but we just literally what, recorded what, the screen we got some um some mario brothers some amiga, too amiga 500 stuff like some some psychosis game Oh uh, yeah, like blood money shooter, or um, airplane uh, thing. Shadow of the Beast. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, no, that no, one, no, no, no. the Zaxxon looking game. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But but you know those are boring, right? I mean, you can't hear us talk or you can't see us or anything. It's just the screen, so it's like, yeah. you know, that'll just stay on the tape. <laughs> you know, there's no point in putting that anywhere. Uh, and I guess we recorded it for ourselves so that we could roll it back and look at a scene that we wanted to see again. We like, or like a cut scene or something. <laughs> Cause it was cool. You didn't have to play the game again. You could just have it on tape. So it was kind of neat to record. I would record endings of games a lot. I, I have the ending to Super Mario two and three. And as soon as I knew I beat the game, I'd hit record on the VCR. So the tape <laughs> is just a bunch of endings. <laughs> uh, well, if you have uh, enough of those, that'd be a cool video. Right? I think yeah. I might have the Master Blaster, uh, or the Blaster Ooh, Master. I uh, fucking loved that game. Yeah. Yeah, I remember we stayed up all night. We would play it, play it. And it would go... Yeah. We would eat <laughs> Caesar's Pizza and play that game all night. <laughs> yeah. And the sun would start coming up. And I think a couple times my mom might have, like, turned it off. Like... You know, because there's no saving it, right? It was, yeah. it was just like, okay, we got to go to bed. I hope mom doesn't like mess with this. And we go to bed, wake up, it's turned off. We're like, no, <laughs> we got so far. <laughs> yeah, Metroid too. Metroid is such a long game. Uh, but uh, hey, Eric, uh, they want to know which is the best Evil Dead movie. Uh oh, um, I mean it's it's hard it's hard to say like I I think I would say three, um, Army of Darkness because it's just so full and so well rounded and it has just so much going on, but two is really the 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 best cut, like out two the gate if you've such never seen a any weird movie. Yeah, and, and I get it. It's like he made the first one with his own money, and then he gets a deal to make a big movie. And even yeah. though it's is it, it, it's called Evil Dead Two, right? Yeah, actually, it has yeah. a two in it. Yeah, it's so a, it's Dead says, by Dawn. It says Evil Dead Two. Yeah, it's, it's the same story. <laughs> it's the same fucking story. It's as <laughs> if the first one never even happened. Yeah. It's it's like a brand new movie, yeah, yeah. That was weird, that. but it's yeah. but it is but it is better. There's, there's yeah. a lot a lot. He he really upped the game, and mm -hmm. and I guess there, the first one was more just kind of straight horror, wasn't it? Yeah, part one was a little less, you know, funny and and but, silly. But two, they started introducing a lot of the like the the humor. Yeah, yeah, they they went they went for the the quirky, funny, kind of silly stuff, and then three they just hit, hit the gas, three, yeah, went and straight three, for the the cheese. I would say like it wasn't even a horror movie at that point. No, because it, it starts off at uh at um at uh shop, uh, you know, at S Mart, and he and it's already silly. He's up on the thing, he's fighting, you know, he's got all the one liners. Already in the first like five minutes of the movie, you're like, oh, okay, it's this kind of movie, you know. Um, and I got to see it with my dad at the theater for the first time when uh, Evil Dead Three came out. I was super stoked about that, and uh, 
my dad wanted to see it and went and asked me to go to it before I even knew what it was. I was like, what? <laughs> this is Evil Dead 3? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. What's up, JBJ Blaze? JBJ Blaze. JBJ. Uh, so we have some uh, some new trivia games to play this week uh, because those are really cool. Um, also, oh yeah, yeah. First, I wanted to talk about next next week. We have Lollapalooza is up next week. Did you know that? Like Lollapalooza is happening next week. Yeah, yeah, it's happening next no, week. No, I, I haven't really paid attention to Lollapalooza since the nineties. I haven't either. I, some somehow, like I, I was, um, I, I was listening to a band this week. Uh, Elinium, uh, Elinium. <laughs> it's an electronic band. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> that totally makes sense now. Yeah, it's like, um, you know. EDM and stuff like that. It, anyway, I was jamming to it, and then I was like, "Hey, I wonder what this guy looks like." I don't know. I always do that. I'm like, "Illinium." I'm like typing it in because I'm listening to just all of his. Like, I go to um, you know, the music, and I just say play every song that he's ever made. And I'm like, "Man, this is really freaking good." Anyway, so I type it in. I'm looking at his website, and it was like he's on tour coming up next week. I'm like. Oh, that's interesting. What's next week? I clicked it and I'm like, Lollapalooza. Dang. Okay. <laughs> that's, you know, that's kind of big. So I went to the website and I was going to share this guy, uh, share this with you guys. Take a look at this lineup. Let me see if I can, if I can, uh, zoom Maybe in bigger, because I can't read that from here for one thing. Miley see, Cyrus. <laughs> right. So right next to Miley Cyrus, you see, Millennium. That's oh, that's the man I, I like. Yeah, it's like Millennium without the M, I yeah. guess. I don't know. Anyway, so that's pretty cool, right? And you got all these names that Jimmy I've never e heard. World. I know that. Jimmy one. E World is good. Yeah, yeah, I remember them. And all these little small print stuff. I don't know that I know any of these bands. No. I mean, I don't even know what kind of music it is. Clever and post animal and. I, oh, I've heard of Cash Cash. They're EDM. So it could be a lot of EDM, right? I don't know. So anyway, let's scroll down to uh, Friday. Let me zoom out just a hair. So on Friday, we got Tyler. Oh, Post Malone, Journey. Yes. On Saturday, Journey. What the crap? Oh, sorry. I skipped ahead. You, you were talking about Friday. Uh, Tyler yeah, Friday, Creator, Marshmallow, Marshmallow, I've heard of. He's EDM. I don't know. But I don't know like all these other bands. Are we that old? Are we getting super old? We don't know all these bands. Yes. Um, yes. yes, yes Saturday's yeah. got oh, Journey. Lip Biscuit. Lip Biscuit, right? Oh my god. Uh, and then a bunch of bands I don't know again. I'm like, oh, holy crap, dude! What's yeah. going on? And then Sunday, hey, I recognize Fighters. Foo Fighters. And then yeah. I, these are headliner Baby. names. I don't even. I've never heard Rock of the Hampton? Baby. Oh, Modest or... Mouse. Oh, Modest Mouse. Nice. They were early 2000s. Okay. I love Modest Young, Mouse. Young Thug. Oh, Band of Horses. Band of Horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then that's where it ends. I don't know all these other names. <laughs> is that crazy or what? Yeah, that is crazy. So, yeah. There you go. Like, stuff's yeah. happening and no idea. Grant, oh, Grant Park, Chicago, cool. Wait, what, Grant? I was just in Chicago like a couple of months ago, like two months oh, ago. Oh yeah, where it's happening, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. So, um, and then I thought, you know what would be kind of cool is to look up the um, Lollapalooza lineup from the 90s. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, everyone will know all of those bands. Like. Um, you know, like, is there, is there a good, is there a good list somewhere? (laughs) Okay, here we go. This this is pretty awesome. Here, here's Wikipedia right here. List of Lollapalooza lineups by year. The first year being 91. Let's look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, this is excellent. Okay. 
We have uh, main uh, stage, of course. Dan Jane's addiction, because I think, I mean, didn't they? Um, oh yeah, Jane's addiction. Oh yeah, because Perry, Susie and the Banshees. Didn't, didn't Perry Farrell? Wouldn't wouldn't this his thing? His brainchild? Yeah, you're right. I thought it. I thought it was. That's true. Yeah. So Jane's addiction. Susie and the Banshees. Awesome. Living color. Nine snails. Living color. Ice tea and body. Nine count. snails. Slide over. Butthole surfers. Oh, is that what oh. it says? Oh, how come I can't slide? What what's the deal? Oh, I see. Uh, it, okay, it's yeah, butthole surfers, yeah, yeah. Uh, I okay. occasionally build as BH surfers because no one wanted to write butthole. <laughs> oh yeah. Violent <laughs> Fems. Band. Okay. Violent Fems, Fishbone. I know all of those bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every 100%. single one. And I've seen a couple of these live. Let's so like let's yeah, well, 92, Soundgarden, Chili Peppers, Jesus and Mary Chain were awesome, Pearl Jam, of course, this is 92. Ministry, so you get all the... Ice Cube, Soundgarden, Jesus, Mary Chain, Pearl Jam, Lush. Tool? Stone Tip side Pilots? Wait, Rage Against the Machine was on the side stage? And Tool was <laughs> on the side stage? All right. Holy shit. That's weird, huh? Shark Bait? I don't know Archie Bell Dancers. Rage Against the Machine. Porno for, Py yes. Porno for Pyros was on the side stage. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, so anyway. Yeah. So um, Pyros, blah, blah. Yeah, it just seems like like you can see the progression music front 242. This is when industrial started kicking in, right? And back here in the 90, early 90s, that's when like Pearl Jam and uh, Stone Temple Pilots, all that kind of stuff kicked in, right? So you can see the progression of genres coming in. And mm -hmm. now you're at 94, you have Beastie Boys, Smash Pumpkins. Smash and Pumpkins, Beastie Boys, George Clinton and the B-Funk All-Stars, hell yeah. <laughs> Flaming Breeders, Lips, L7, West. Green Day. So this is this is kind of Green Day's year, I remember. Um, 95, Cypress Hill, jump, jump. And uh, Okay, now they're listing them all weirdly. But anyway, I don't want to go through every single year, but uh, it's kind of cool to see the, <laughs> the progression now. all these bands. Who, hey, what? <laughs> he so, hates them all. Matt Gibbs Brody. says, Brody hates all these bands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brody. We cool. love how much you hate things. And <laughs> you love Metallica. Yes. And popular metal. <laughs> I have mm. coffee in here. What does your mug say? Is, um... Oh, be awesome today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a question. I got it at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Hobby Lobby. I don't know why. Whenever I see a good mug, I just got to get it. <laughs> so, no alcohol for me. That's right. This is this is water right here. So I have water and coffee. Um, gummies, however, you know, you can anyway, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, so I'm, I'm not going to drink any alcohol for now because I want, I want that tissue to, to be able to form, you know, the you know, blood clot needs to happen. The tissue needs to form. I don't want to like mess with it. I so remember that's... when I got my wisdom teeth out. Um, yeah. I think I was visiting. Yeah, I was in town from Atlanta because I was in college. Mm -hmm. I was 23. When you got both, all four of your wisdom teeth? Yeah. Oh, wow. So this was like 1998 or nine. Okay. Why the crap do I still have mine? You know, I still have another one. I have another oh. one over here, and the dentist was like, well, at some point, I could go. I'm like, yeah, I guess so. I looked at my x-rays. Oh, man, where's my phone? I have my x-ray pictures. Um, and it's like one tooth just hanging, and there's nothing under it to chomp with. It's just hanging. My, mine were impacted. So, like, uh, you see, you see all, all the teeth, you know? And they're, yeah. They're, they're like this, right? Up, yeah. Straight up, you know, like teeth are. And then my wisdom teeth... <laughs> At the ends, we're going this way. They were sideways. Like, why? What is up Where? with like nature? Like, what, what is the deal with why nature? Would you, 
that. Like, yeah, grow, grow teeth sideways. <laughs> That's that makes weird. sense. Right? So anyways, <laughs> so yeah. Huh. I went and um, that it was awesome because they were like, yeah, here, here's a narcotic pill. Pop it right before you head to the office. <laughs> like, okay. Pop that oh. thing. And I was like, woo. Yeah. Was that hydrocodone? Yeah. That's that's what they gave me. I have a whole freaking bottle of it. I only needed one. I only did needed you, um, one. Why didn't did they, they just sell me one? Did they put you under? No. No? They just gave me a shot. Well, I guess maybe because mine were impacted and I had all of them. Uh, oh. Some people need to to do that she she was just saying no this is no big deal and i was like okay because i don't know it's been decades since i got a tooth pulled so i trust you you're the dentist so and there was a cool song playing on the radio up there and i was like oh guys pretty chill so and then she just you know put a shot in there gave you a and she pull. said we're gonna do a series of tests if you can feel anything put your your hand up <laughs> i was like okay so i laid back and she's like doing some tests and she said, you'll feel a little bit of pressure here. And I said, oh, okay, I can feel something. And then all of a sudden she handed the the assistant something and she's like, all right, well, came right out. And I was like, oh, I thought you were doing tests or something. I don't know what's going on. It was literally that, that fast. <laughs> Maybe she just says that so people don't freak out. I don't know, but I didn't feel anything, so. I remember when I went in and they were like, and this is the anesthesiologist. Um, or anesthesia, I don't know, I can't remember. All I remember is it was either an anesthesiologist, no, it wasn't an anesthesiologist, it was an anesthetist. And, um, oh. and, I, and I remember laying there and they're like, oh, you know, just like, we're gonna put the thing on you and count back from 10. Oh, yeah. And, like, and I'm like, hey, what's the difference between an anesthesiologist and an anesthetist? <laughs> <laughs> and then, nice. And then I wake up, like, and they're know, all gone. Later, all the weird sideways. And it was already. It was all done. I never got the answer to that question. <laughs> um, let's see. I found the. Uh, I found the picture of my teeth. Y'all want to see my my skull? Yes, absolutely. All right. All right, let me show you my skull real quick. Eye sockets and everything. It's pretty cool. Nice. All right, let's see the whole here. thing. Yep. You're going to be all like... <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Make a skeleton coming a right skeleton. up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to add it. Uh, Oh, so I, I took a picture of the monitor that I was looking at. So there's going to be like lines and stuff on it. But, you know... uh. So it's not the best picture in the world, but okay, let me add it here. Teeth. All right, and here we go. All right, so boom. <laughs> nice. So it's a wrap around weird, right? So you can see my yeah, eyes. Yeah, machine that goes. Yeah, that goes around yeah. your head. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see if I can zoom in. Whoa, gnarly dude. So she said, uh, so my teeth are pretty straight. See how they're all pretty even, right? But yeah. the ends, the ones on the very end are sinking down. And she Ooh, was like, what's... well, see, she said, these teeth are, um, are looking for something, looking for some resistance, looking for some, for another tooth. And they just kept extending. Oh, the top uh, ones. Yeah. And some oh, teeth will just end. do that forever until it's like the gum is so weak that <laughs> it's just jacked. Do, do they just go? <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> um so uh the one on the left i think is the no the one on the right on, on do you the have screen. a crown no i don't have anything do you have a like a what, what is that you, you've got one tooth that's like oh completely covered is it that white one on the bottom right, Conda? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe I do have a crown. Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. I don't remember. That's the only thing I could think it would be because, that, you know, oh. they, they grind down the tooth until it's nothing, and then they put a fake thing over it. 
Oh, I see. You know, I think I do remember some kind of thing like that when I was little. I remember getting a fucking crown. Jesus Christ, that's some major oral surgery. Okay. Yeah, I probably did. I think I did. Huh. Okay. No specific <laughs> memories? No, for some reason, I don't remember exactly, but I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I didn't have, I don't, I don't know if it's on my, um, on my history list. Uh, this, this tooth, uh, pulling, uh, the pulling of this tooth went on my, my list, on my history list. So I'll always know exactly dun, what dun, day dun, I got dun, this, dun, this dun, thing. Dun, dun. It's on your list, your list, it's, list. it's, on, it's on your list. list. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fun. You guys got to see my skull. All my bones. Indeed. Uh, and, uh... Indy. Indy. Brenda. Let's do, uh... Well, actually, let, let's, uh... Let's look at the chat room and see what we're... Are we missing out on stuff? Are you guys, uh... Talking it's hard, about... It's hard for um, me to scroll back through time, so... <laughs> well, you got some straight teeth, Eric. Thanks. <laughs> Whoa, me! I ain't there shit. I, I I think the reason they're really straight is because I used to wear braces when I was really little. I had braces like in middle school. Or... You did have braces. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in high school, middle school slash high school. Yeah. Did I have Did I have braces in I think, ninth grade? I think grade? you got them off like early high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, I'd forgotten you had braces. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess they kind of pull them around, make sure they're all straight or whatever, whatever they do. But I think I just accessed a, an ancient memory. <laughs> an ancient memory. Yeah, for real. It's been like, accessed. Yeah, like I, I think I had a thought like a long time ago. They're like, "Wow, I, I know he's eventually gonna get these braces off, and it's gonna be weird not seeing him with braces." Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I, that is I, I, weird. I, this, seriously, that's a memory in my in my brain. Really, yeah. an ancient memory. An ancient memory. Weird. Stuck up. Did I have? A um... find in my brain. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember. Like, did I have braces on uh, Wildos? Who? Um. Let's see if I can pull that up. That would have been ninth grade, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would have been yeah ninth grade. Okay, let's see. We got one. I don't think you did, but that'd be surprising. Um, where the crap is one of those? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's let me pop it up here. Okay. Let's see. Let me get. <laughs> Into the meat of it. <laughs> let's see. Did we have a? Let's see. Here's a close up of me. Uh, yeah. Nope. Nope. I'm not. I don't think so. Oh man, it was hard to see. Let's see. Go. Wait. Oh, I yes. think I see him. Yeah. Yeah. You do. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Yeah. You can see him. Yeah. See, nice. I had like a weird space between my teeth on one side. Yeah, on, on that. On that. Over here, yeah, yeah. So, uh, man, I don't remember my teeth before. I, that's pretty crazy to be able to look at your own teeth <laughs> when you're young. Let's go back in time real quick and uh, inspect my chompers. <laughs> like right there, they're kind of, kind of. Hey, I don't Eric, know, kind of weird. You've always been in love with time travel all your life, right? <laughs> this is all you needed. All you needed. Right? To do was wait and then you could time travel yeah 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 <laughs> easy as that man it's yeah. freaking easy don't even need a machine always thought you needed a time machine but no don't even need that. Well, you do have a time machine it's a computer i guess it would be like the um yeah i guess so huh the camera is a time machine or of sorts uh let's see I use my custom wide, uh, custom made popsicle stick and hot glue retainer. What? 
When are you going to make a vid about how you edited your VHS movies? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We, we, we were going to do that. Yeah, we were going to do that. And then uh, we always have so many, you know, things going on. But, yeah, that, that's definitely something we want to do. Because I, I don't even ever see anybody else uh, do videos on that. And uh, we get asked that question a lot. I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk about that ever. Yeah, no, I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Thanks. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, man, Eric, you were nerdy kid with glasses and braces. Yep. <laughs> glasses and braces. Oh wait, no, I didn't have I didn't have glasses. Uh, I didn't have glasses that year. So you know what? I never actually had glasses and braces at the same time. You lost they were the glasses, kinda... got the yeah. braces. Right, right. Yeah. So he was only half nerdy. Yes, just half. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have some cool Wildo stuff coming up here pretty soon. So we just put out that uh, the uh, little documentary thing that we did in two thousand five, and uh, that's let's, probably. Let's, let's see. Yeah, originally it was called Let's Make a Skit. <laughs> oh my god, 29 years old. I would kill. I would pay money to be Is that how old you were there? Old. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right there. He's kind of like Peter Murphy. <laughs> I had, I dyed my hair black at the time, and I just yeah. cut it really, really fucking short. <laughs> yeah, kind of Peter Murphy-ish. And I had just moved back to Atlanta. This was right after we shot air band oh yeah <laughs> that's crazy and then I, uh, and then there's me with i just had like a little just bit of the soul patch yeah i had that for a little while that's so uh, funny. in the early 2000s um probably to the late 2000s I didn't have a beard until, um, I don't know, 2008 or nine, somewhere. I remember just growing it to see what would happen, what, what it would look like. And it was like, well, okay, that works, I guess. And then I just never saved it. <laughs> it was inevitable. <laughs> inevitable. Hello, everyone. Hello, Tamal. D looks so young in that documentary, like a different person still. Yeah. I was, um, third eye blind phase. <laughs> Wait, I forget what. I mean, I was, I was a shit ton younger and a, and a lot thinner. So, I mean, that's pretty normal. <laughs> Let's see. I'm uh, looking up Third Eye Blonde. <laughs> oh, they're saying you look like the Third Eye Blonde guy or something? Yeah, didn't he have like, didn't he have the little thing like you're talking about? You know, like the little uh, soul patch? Flavor yeah. Saver? The flavor yeah. Saver? But I'm going to see it now. But. Yeah, around that time, like, you know, it seemed to be, like, popular. <laughs> so far, you uh, haven't found a single picture right? of them. Right? That's weird. It's it's like that Baron State Bears thing. It's like it was in your memory, but it was wrong <laughs> the whole time. It never like happened that way. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they sing that? Didn't they do the song about the uh, the guy who was like jumping I off a building? I couldn't tell you a fucking um, third eye blind song. I have no idea. Uh, what was the song they did that was? Uh, oh, sit. Uh, yeah, semi charmed life. That was the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to look it up later. Don't you? You don't remember? 
No. I can only play because of copyright stuff. I can play like just a second or two of it, but uh, I know you'll know it. It's just a, it's just like a song that just always got played. I remember it playing on MTV or VH1 or whatever it was at the time while we would be playing Magic the Gathering. It was no. around that time. <laughs> We'd be playing and stuff, and I'd hear this you're song so, all the time. So oh, Jumper. That. Jumper, that's the song. Jumper, not Simi. Okay, well, you'll know both of them. But yeah, Jumper was actually the song I liked. And the Simi Charm Life thing, it was like their hit that wouldn't stop playing on the radio <laughs> are you planning on playing it or oh yes yes after i stop talking so much oh here i'll pause the music okay let's see oh wait you're not gonna hear that are you yeah yeah, yeah. oh can you hear that no i can't hear that oh <laughs> well i should be able to hear that i would think so let's see I hear everything else from from that can, let's see can you hear it from the Do 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 do. Okay, really? Does that that's even work? Third Eye Blind. Yeah, that's the uh, okay. uh, do 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 do, yeah. do 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 Yeah, everybody knows that one. And then, uh, and then you had uh, Jumper from uh, the same dudes. And this one was, um... oh yeah, I wish you would step off from that ledge, my friend. <laughs> Remember that one? Yeah, it's like. All their songs were like, he was like talking a lot. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Da, da, ba, da, 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 And then I'm talking, well, I'm talking, this. I'm talking, talk, talk. See, 97. This was super 90s looking. The, with the grit and just the over the overexposed. They always overexpose everything. Mm-hmm. And like, mm-hmm. contrasty mm-hmm. as crap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a cool look, but that was super 90s. Like, every shot in here is like... Super 90s. Legit. And they would put, like, grunge, grungy textures and stuff. And, like, this is shot through a mirror. That way they could add, like, grunge elements. So you could keep that... Oh, and another window shot or mirror shot. That way you could have grunge on it. There's a lot of little stuff everybody did. Another mirror shot. <laughs> very popular but it would be pretty awesome to do a straight up 90s looking stuff now you know because because everybody knows you know all the tropes right Just put all the tropes in there and the, there's your <laughs> 90s video like but it was like legit stuff that everybody did anyway so but uh but yeah i want to do some i want to do some more like realistic cool 80s and 90s music videos when daryl comes in town and uh and you got a drone now we could do some like epic stuff yeah drone stuff is fun although you know drone stuff in the 80s like you know you could you could always see the ground you could always see dust kicking up because you're like ah he was in a helicopter and it's all like <laughs> wobbly and stuff yeah oh what was a good um a, a good example of that would be guns and roses november rain yeah, had a helicopter. Yeah, they had this helicopter shot that was just like, oh man, it would have been so cool if they had drones back then. But hold on, let me find it. Of uh, uh, Slash playing guitar. Yeah, yeah, when he's playing guitar in the desert. Okay, yeah. here he is. Okay, it's all cool. Now watch the ground. See all that yeah, yeah. dust kicking up? <laughs> the friggin' helicopter. That's awesome. <laughs> and these are crane shots, right? You just have a little crane, a little jib arm. That is a helicopter. That's so, a crane. <laughs> but here's yeah. The, there's the thing about cinema. I mean, cinema! You, you got this guy. He's in the middle of nowhere. He comes out of a church. There's no one around for miles smoking a cigarette with a guitar <laughs> and it's not plugged in he, yeah he, right he that's he true. doesn't even have a wireless like transmitter like it's not plugged into anything <laughs> so it's making no sound other than I mean the yeah. reality 
the reality of these moments is just fucking hilarious. That, right. Ah, uh, that just, yeah, that just reminded me. There's these great fucking YouTube videos of like uh, music videos without the music. Yes, I I made one once. <laughs> I loved it so, so much funny. because you would show me so that. Funny. And I oh made God. one. I spent a lot of time on it. It's very intricate and very like yeah. a, a lot this of detail. All about the sound effects. And I was like really having fun with it. And yeah. I finally I was like, all right, I'm gonna put this on YouTube. I got a copyright strike. Yeah. Not just a claim, but an actual strike. strike yeah. And I couldn't do anything on my channel for six months. So I was like, Damn. holy crap, I'm not going to do that anymore. So I stuck it up on Vimeo. <laughs> so it's on Vimeo right now. Um, <laughs> so stupid, uh, man. It was... Um, oh, and I was going to say that too. Yes, it was Slash's birthday the other day. Oh, I didn't even realize. Yeah. Oh. I'll find the video for you guys if you want to watch it later. I'll stick it in the chat room. My uh, favorite, it's... my favorite music video without the music is the um, David Bowie, Mick Jagger dancing in the streets. That's it's the one. That's so, the awesome one. Yeah, yeah. So hilarious! Oh my god. Man. This is the. I've there's the link. It's it this is right the. Um, I was calling it music videos We're not that entertaining. Go look for that instead. This is the uh, Aerosmith um, Walk This Way. This is the one I chose. Walk This Way! But man, Aerosmith will give you a strike. Or maybe it was Run DMC. Or both of them. I don't know. They teamed up. They got angry at that video. I don't know why. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fucking jerks. <laughs> <laughs> Anger. Uh, yeah, we have... We have some freaking cool, um, we got some cool stuff for after the break. Uh, oh, you know, my sister suddenly just texted me last night, you be illin'. And it got me thinking, I was like, oh man, I, I remember loving the crap out of, out of that song. Um, like, uh, you be illin', illin'. Yeah. Dinner. You ate it. There is none <laughs> left. left. It was salty <laughs> with butter and it was deaf. <laughs> You proceeded to eat it because he was in the mood. Uh, but Holmes, you did not read it. Was a can of dog food. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, we ate dog food. You be ill. Love that, freaking. Run DMC is so good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. So we're thinking about maybe a break but here before we do a break how about let me let me ask you guys about a little he-man watch party action a uh, possible one that we could do uh, we don't know That's if we're gonna right do it. because exactly. the uh the new netflix show masters of the universe uh what is the um what's the uh, revelations title? revelations thank yeah, you revelations, the universe yeah. revelations just dropped on Netflix. Yeah. And yep. um, so we wanted to check it out. Yeah. I mean, if you guys want to watch it with us, that could be a thing. So there's something that I found that will help us do this. It's called Scener. Uh, let me go to the website here. Obscenely? Obscenely. It's kind of neat. It's a... Uh, it's like a tool, I guess, that it, it's actually a Chrome browser extension. Expansion. Expansion. Uh, oh, that's right. Mark Hamill is Skeletor. And um, Henry Rollins is in it, too. Is he playing He-Man or does he play? No, he plays no, 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 no. Uh, the guy with or multiple um, eyes. Oh, man. It, oh, tri, uh, Triclops. Yep. Yeah, okay. And anyway, uh, um, what M Mich Sarah Michelle Geller as um, Lena? Tila, T Tila, Tila, yeah, Tila, yeah, um, and then uh, Lena H Hetty as uh, the evil sorceress lady. I can't remember her name. Lena, evil, evil Lynn. Yeah, yeah, evil yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Lena H Hetty was, of course, um, Cersei Lannister on Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. She was uh, 
pretty cool. And the Lannister. Lannister. Anyway, this is a scener, and it's like this social watch party thing. I just, I was searching around, I found it. You install uh, an extension, a browser plugin, whatever, and then you sign up for this site. On this site, it's Scener. I, I know the thing is getting cut off, but it's spelled like S-C-E-N-E-R. It's like scene with an R at the end. <laughs> anyway, uh, it, it seems to be pretty cool. Like, see, I could go and join this guy. Like, let me, like, this guy's playing that. There's 15 people in that room. And here's the timer on the top left. You can see how much movie is left. You could just jump into these rooms. So the idea is to create a room for us and make it private because we don't want any weirdos in there. I mean, you guys are all the weirdos we want. And, <laughs> um, you know, and be like, oh, yeah, Rain Man, baby. Oh, there's one person watching it. That's weird. Let me just get on here and watch it by myself. That's strange. <laughs> but I don't see any. No one's playing He-Man. <laughs> Uh, Why aren't you watching e man it, it supports Netflix and HBO Max and Hulu. It's kind of cool. And YouTube even. So the idea would be if you sign up and get all this stuff going, then we could send you a link. That's it. It's just, here's a link to our channel or whatever, our room or something. Yeah. And then we could let you know like when it would be. Uh, so would anybody here be interested in that? That's really the question. I mean, because the technology is here. We could do it. Uh, we have the power. Yeah, and also what's kind of neat about it is it supports Two on the nose. Um, cameras, so we would see each other. <laughs> Everybody would be seeing each other. So, <laughs> so no shenanigans. <laughs> but we're not on YouTube, so this is called, you know totally separate. Uh, I, I think it only supports 20 cameras or something. So the first 20 people would be able to use a camera. And once there's 20 full cameras, everyone else is text only, but you're still in the room. So it says unlimited people would be chatting and going wild. You don't have to have a camera. It's just saying that it's limited to, to you know, that. So. Does it say going wild? Going wild? Yeah. Where? Isn't that what you said? Uh uh. Are you thinking? Are you they, thinking they, about? They'd be texting and going wild. Oh yeah, and going wild. Yeah yeah, texting and going wild, <laughs> like wildos. You said that. <laughs> and going wild. Wow. They're just, they're just over there texting. <laughs> wow. Uh yeah. So okay. I mean, I see a couple of you guys saying yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. Um, yeah. How does watch parties work without copyright? I don't know. Hits. Yeah, uh, that, that's how it would work. Like, you know, we would use this system and this would not be streamed to YouTube. So this yeah, is no, just a comp no, well, it, yeah, it's like copyright only gets involved if anyone's trying to make money out of it. Yeah, if you if you broadcast someone's movie without permission. But what this is doing is it's linking up your oh, I guess I should specify you're using your own account. Uh, so you would have to have Netflix and then oh, you would right, sign right. up to Scener because all it's doing is it's syncing your Leaner. account, your video to everyone else's video. So w no one's broadcasting the video. That's how they get around the copyright thing because it's legit. Everyone is, uh, you know, watching their own video. So yeah. that's, that would be a stipulation. Actually, I'm glad you asked that question because there could be people without Netflix going, oh man, I wanted to watch some He-Man. But yeah, you would have to have your account. So count me in. All right, AJ. Uh, couch slouch. <laughs> this sounds fun. Liberty. Okay. Hannah's there. And Gina. <laughs> okay, this sounds pretty cool. Okay, so we'll talk about this in our Facebook group. Um, because I don't know right now, I don't want to like, you know, make up, you know, uh, sign a contract right here on, on, uh, on this live, but, uh, we'll make a post and then we'll just see how it goes. Cause if it's really cool, then we can be like, oh man, next Sunday, Hey, let's check out, you know, let's watch some eighties flicks or something like, 
you know, could be a, it could be a thing. Well, we'll see. Could be a thing. Could be. A Sounds thing. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good excuse to watch a movie you hadn't seen in a while. Right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Or just haven't seen like Saint Elmo's Fire. I still want to see that. Oh yeah, I still haven't, I haven't seen, that seen either. It. That's right. Yeah. We talked about that. You know, it's just like picking an eighties movie you just never watched. <laughs> it's like that one. Let's watch that. Yeah. Yeah. I still need to see uh Weekend of Bernie's two. Because I watched one, you know, like last month or something, and I have two, I just haven't watched it yet. Yeah. I'm dying to know how he's dying. Eric, how do you like your coffee? Uh I it's put. Good. It's all cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Um, I put uh, creamer in it sometimes. I'm trying not to put any at all, um, but I always put stevia in it now. So it's basically, it may be black, but with Plant stevia sweetener. Yeah, or it may have a little bit of sweetener. But I'm trying to get away from that because I don't, uh, you know, I don't want that. But. But it tastes good, but then I'm like, mm -mm. but I'm still doing good on water. If you guys remember the water episode of Eric and Daryl, the Eric and Daryl show, <laughs> when I announced to everyone, I've switched to water. Well, here I am. I'm still watering it up. Oh, yeah. Better still off dead. That. That'd be fun to watch. One Better off dead? Summer. Oh, yeah. My one. Python, the Holy Grail. Dude, that would be so fun. <laughs> Man, it's really been a long time since I've seen. I want to. I want to watch Life of Brian. I haven't seen that in ages. Oh, that'd be good. And and for some reason, um, like the scene about uh, Bigoth, Bigoth, <laughs> yeah, has come up on YouTube Bigoth, a couple Bigoth. of times. So I've watched that a couple of times. <laughs> it's a joke okay. name, so you know, like uh, Bigoth, Bigoth. <laughs> What's so funny about Bigoth, Bigoth? <laughs> that's awesome uh you guys aren't drinking tonight uh no i'm just drinking water but daryl was drinking wine but we're actually about to go to our intermission and get some new drinks oh look he can just friggin pour it right there uh <laughs> right out of the friggin bottle <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a freak. Porky's, <laughs> Porky's, that'd be funny. Big Lebowski, excellent. That's a great movie. Karate Kid. Hmm. Oh yeah, slasher films would be good too. We'll watch some some good old uh, Little Monsters by Vestron Pictures. Vestron Video. <laughs> <laughs> Which apparently was a flop. Um, yeah. How about uh, Chainsaw Cheerleaders? Oh, God. <laughs> you know, I only saw that once after, and I couldn't I couldn't watch it all. Uh, by the way, if you guys don't remember, I helped shoot that movie. I was a boom operator, and I couldn't even watch the movie. <laughs> once it was straight to, straight to uh, DVD and VHS. <laughs> straight to nowhere. <laughs> straight to nowhere. <laughs> Daryl's Straight. puppet movie. Which one? I made a lot of them. <laughs> Straight um, to the. It's like the ET game. Straight to the. Oh, landfill. the Dark Companion. That was my favorite. That was really Dark good. Dark Companion. Mm -hmm. Only one of them is available on Amazon though, so uh, we could watch that one. No, actually, I have two movies that I was involved with that are available on Amazon. Oh, what's the? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, what was it called? The, the feature film that I edited, um, which was, uh, oh, fuck. Oh, I was thinking about the short. Oh, um, happy yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Edwin. Uh, I'm just having one of those moments where it's like completely blocked. But anyways, All right. the, the we short. Get the short is um, Nature Calls. That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nature Calls. Nature Calls. Good Grief Suicide Hotline is the feature I edited that's on Amazon. 
Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. When I worked on my first film, my roommates were appalled by how uh, how few movies I'd seen. We had marathons. Um, uh, so they were like, ooh, this guy hasn't seen anything. <laughs> like, that seems like it'd be weird. Oh, you know what? Something that uh, the, the movies that made us. Yeah. Watching that just reminded me like that. That's what I love. Having a big project where yeah. there's a where there's a singular goal, and you know it, it brings a bunch of people together, and everyone's like focused on that goal. Right. Right. That's, yeah, that is really. That's cool. what I love. That's that's what I love the most. Yeah. And god damn it, I want to do something again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that it's a different kind of like energy that you can feel in the room, right? When everyone's on the right track. Everyone is focused on the same thing, really. Yeah. Um same thing you kind of get at, at a concert. I mean, not the same thing as watching a movie, but you know, at a concert, you just have that that weird overall like feeling of everyone like focusing on the band and knowing the song and loving it and stuff and it's just like wow this is crazy like i had forgotten that feeling but then i'd forgotten the feeling of being on a set but when you said that i was like i remember that you know like it's so good uh but yeah that would be really good to that's what we're kind of missing nowadays that we're like you know zoom calling and stuff like that you don't get that actual energy in the room kind of feeling right you know it's yeah. weird, but um, but luckily you don't live that far away, so we we can't actually do that, <laughs> um, which is going to be cool. So need, I still we think need, we should need to do that trailer. We need, for the, yes, uh, yes, yeah. I think yeah, I think that should be it. I've, yeah. I've got some I've got some good notes. I've got some stuff written, but I want to put some feelers out. I want to I want to get some other ideas from other people. And then maybe collect a bunch of ideas and then write a script. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. Let, yeah, let's talk about that and get that going. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about the uh, Eric Darrow take Hollywood, I guess. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we showed the poster uh, last two weeks ago or something mm -hmm. uh, from Joel, who's uh, always awesome and making cool pictures. On, we we uh, want Facebook. to make an actual trailer out of that. Yes. Hey! No, Mike Parker. <laughs> nice. It was Daryl this time. Now it goes back and forth. <laughs> cool, Mike. Thanks, dude. Thanks, man. Time to buy Daryl another bottle of wine. <laughs> you know yeah. I'm a dreamer. But my heart's, my heart's gold. <laughs> Nice. Well, cool. I was wondering if we would see uh, Daryl headbanging tonight, so that's cool. <laughs> I have oh, it on. Uh, I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't even know that you 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 added a new one. Yeah, I thought oh, that's what you I were saying. No, no, no. Oh I yeah. Just, I just saw the super chat. I was. Oh uh, yeah. The graphic. <laughs> yeah. So that's you and a different song so like a different you know metal riff okay. so now i have it on it's a variation now i have it on 50 50 chance it's oh, exactly 50 percent chance if it's gonna be me or you okay and uh so yeah cool. <laughs> so yeah it was totally you nice yep a little upgrade this week Sweet. <laughs> so uh oh my god i'm Caleb's thinking about here. Caleb's here. <laughs> he is here. Caleb. So, because I just I, I was I, I just saw a text and I was reading it. I was like the silent story of meat nipples. I'm like meat nipples. Who wrote uh, Caleb? Caleb. <laughs> only nice. Only people who know know about yep. meat nipples. I remember that. Clabby. <laughs> nice. That was on my birthday. 
Uh, which one? That was my birthday. Ooh. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> my 20 birthday, something, probably. 2000. Five? Six? 2006? 2005. Oh, okay. Yeah. 2005. So, yeah, it was December of 2005. So you living, looked like um, I was living in Atlanta. I, uh, yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was my birthday, two thousand five. How old was I? I was twenty. Here we go. Four. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. No. So okay. So 30. this is. I was thirty. That's you in two thousand five. That wasn't my 30th birthday. It was my 29th birthday. Shit, I don't know. Fuck. That was, yeah, that was 2005. That's what I looked like. See, I can make you talk. Wait, let's see. <laughs> that's kind of freaky. Oh, well, that's a good one. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> no. Anyway. It, it had to have been 2004. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. I don't know. I gauge everything by which girlfriend I was dating at the time. Yeah. And I know Katie yeah. was there <laughs> right. somehow. And I don't remember if we were broken up or still together anyway <laughs> none of that has yeah. to do with the fact that that's the night of the meat nipples with, uh... <laughs> the meat nipples meat nipples my, my birthday is December 31st so it is New Year's Eve and so everyone's having a good time I was in town in Huntsville we were having a party at JD's house <laughs> uh, everyone was over there and Caleb was there with his daughter, his younger daughter, and um, who was like ten at the time. I don't know. She was she was Probably, little. Yeah. Um, but uh, I was having a good time. And there's a ton of pictures from this night too. Um, and at one point, and I I had nipple rings at the time, and at one point, yeah, like. I took some 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 of the meat sliced meat from the like the the hors d'oeuvre tray and I I put it in my my nipple rings and I was trying to get people to eat it <laughs> I was going around for it. And so that was meat nipples okay I had, I had like pepperoni stuck in my Oh, was that when, uh, was that when, uh, maybe Caleb turned 30 there? He turned 30 in t 2005. No, I'm looking through my photos now. I'm like, yeah, th but it, no, it, it wasn't 2005. There. There's no way it was 2005 because I remember, to, I, I remember turning 30. It wasn't, I th I'm pretty sure it was, it was 29. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah, so I actually have I took photos the out years ago. Okay. So I have photos of you in 2004 on your birthday. I I so, was yeah. like I was on fire that night cuz I was going around to everyone. I was taking pictures with every me and everybody. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Everyone at the party, there's a ton of Yeah, that's the night. Cause I was wearing that okay. white shirt. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a picture of me taking a picture of me. All right. <laughs> Selfie. Yeah. And this this one is uh, a selfie mm -hmm. with me and Daryl. <laughs> it looks like. Oh yeah. And see, you've got the same fucking. Yeah. That's totally. T yeah. Yeah. So that was that was 2000, 2004, 2005. So that was yeah. The night about to be two thousand five. Okay. Yeah, about to be 2005, right? Yeah. 
Crazy. So I guess we actually had taken you out um, to a bar or something like that before. Because I don't know where this is. Oh, and there's Katie. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's <laughs> it's funny. I don't have any pictures of, of her um, from that night. Because, like, when we broke up, I got mad and I deleted them all. Ah, uh, you deleted them all. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So there's uh, like a, a bunch of pictures like uh, that are missing from that night. <laughs> yeah, there she is. Here, you can have mine. <laughs> I got plenty. I got plenty of them. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> um, but there was one that was interesting. Let's see, where is it? You're like pulling up something. Oh, oh it's like yeah. a, that's cool. Where was this, by the way? Do you remember what? Like I do. venue that the, was the Mexican restaurant on the parkway oh. by airport. It used to be Mr. Steak. Right, I remember that one. Okay, okay. It was a great Mexican restaurant. We loved it. We went there all the time. Um, and I can't yeah. remember the name of it for the life of me. I can't either. Guatemala's or something, or I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That was a, that was a cool place. Interesting. I was super into motorcycles at the time, and so everyone was like. Or, well, that particular thing. <laughs> but here's a motorcycle. No, I want, yeah. I want a big one. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was super stoked that night, to mm -hmm. say the least. <laughs> oh, to be 29 again. <laughs> and if you want yeah, to see that was Caleb. my 29th birthday. Yeah. Caleb's back there. That's probably about all the pictures I can really show online. <laughs> There's <laughs> some crazy ones that I'd rather not show. <laughs> uh, but anyway, well, cool. See, freaking another time machine. He's talking about it. It's like, I know, there it is. Right? Hey, there let's is. go back um, 20 years. Mm -hmm. Got it all Jesus. documented. Everything's documented. I mean, I have a lot of parties from 2004. You know, you, you know how many? I have 14, 14 of them. And I have Dragon Con from that year too. Uh, every day from every camera, mine Ooh, and three other people's see. cameras. <laughs> That's I crazy. See. I want to see all this. <laughs> you don't have, I figured you would have, oh no, I guess I never really got to where I was like, hey, here, here's all my pictures. I should do that probably. I mean, I've got my own pictures, but like, you know, people, take their own pictures and then there's things that you never saw right right or i'm sure i've seen them but uh i look the same thank you i love you stedler thank you it's not true wait what but... you look the same what from back then yeah i look the same uh, as when i was 29 <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to find uh appreciate it pictures of you I don't, why don't I see pictures of you in 2004 Dragon Con? I know you were there. Uh, there's some 2004 Dragon Con? No, I probably yeah. wasn't. Oh, okay. 2005 uh, Dragon Con, probably, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe, yeah. That's true. <laughs> anyway, time machines are cool. Time machines are cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I need to get another drink and go to the bathroom. You guys ready for intermission? They usually rock. And then we're going to come back to the time machine. And we have uh, like three, three different, I think three, three or four uh, different uh, trivia games of different uh, varying topics. Uh, from the 80s and the 90s. This time I decided to kind of throw in a little 90s thing in there. Something about 90s style or something weird. Anyway, it looks it looks pretty cool. Uh, so enjoy the uh, intermission or just enjoy your own break. If you're going to like sit in the corner and meditate or maybe you go into the bathroom for the full 15 minutes. Nobody so, our, feel bad our people for you. In the corner. <laughs> you know, put, oh yeah you put baby in the corner right it's like baby wasn't actually in a corner it was, she was like up against a column on yeah. a flat wall <laughs> yeah. it was like yeah. what 
Where's the quarter? Anyway, so yeah. All right, we'll be right back after these messages. So, I owe you for two pizzas. No, Mr. Carlin. That little's here. When you pay for one pizza, you get another one free. Well, that's very honorable, but if we get two, we should pay for two. But if you pay for two, you'll get four. Then we'll pay for four. Then you'll get eight. Well, then I'll pay. Little Caesars, when you make a pizza this good, one just isn't enough. Then we'll pay for 512. Then you'll get 1,024. Then we'll pay. Stop, look, and listen at Camelot Music. Bruce Springsteen, Barbara Streisand, Billy Joel, Willie Nelson. Look for the nice price sticker and save on CDs and cassettes. Get hit music from The Bangles, Simon and Garfunkel, Aerosmith, and more. Choose from hundreds of low price titles and get superstar CDs and cassettes at a super nice price. Robo Force Robo Cruiser Attack Vehicle. Max Steel, the leader, and Cruel, the detonator, each sold separately. Activate Robo Cruiser! It has pretend lasers and a rear claw lifter. Batteries not included. Large! Who's in whose clutches now, Cruel? The Robo Cruiser with Airbot Activator. Robots sold separately from Ideal's Robo Force. Hey, kids. Do you want to laugh? Sport adventure? Excitement? Call story phone. Do you want to be scared? Just pick up the phone and call story phone. Better ask your parents before you call. Great to have X-ray vision. Man, you've come here today dressed for battle. Boy, you got a lot of 
pepperoni in your bread. Get Little Caesars free pepperoni bread and two pizzas with extra pepperoni for $7.98. Pizza, pizza. And get free chocolate, chocolate. What a pretty day, Sky Violet. <gasps> Look! La La Orange is my name, and so I'll put in Rainbow Land. Orange, orange everywhere. A la, la, la. But La La, orange is for the very few. It's special, just like you. You're so smart. Violet and other toys, each sold separately. Schroeder, you're slipping. I'm too tired. When you fuel up with a nutritious breakfast like this one with tasty low-sugar Cheerios, those also help keep you on your toes. Thank you, Lucy. Want to see a trick? There's a coupon in specially marked boxes of Cheerios that, presto, turns into a free pitcher of Pepsi or other soft drink at Pizza Hut. With any pizza purchase, a free pitcher of Pepsi from Cheerios. That's magic. Looking to the 80s, America. Looking to the 80s, looking to the changes. America, we're doing what we knew we could. Looking to the 80s, looking for excitement. Looking to the 80s, CBS, we're looking good. My chicken. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Would you be a chicken for a Klondike bar? <laughs> yeah, how about you? <laughs> yeah, no cluck, no Klondike. <laughs> oh, nice chicken. For that chocolate coated ice cream, loaded big and thick, no room for sticks. What would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> Just a few more clucks. <laughs> Anyone who offers you crack is not your friend. Say no. You be the boss. Tuesday, Jeffrey pops the question. Will you marry me? I'm going to make this decision the way I make all my important decisions. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Will Tony give up without a fight? Think about it. We're perfect for one another. The answer's on Who's the Boss? Tuesday. Monday. Avalanche. The downhill death race for MacGyver. Come on, MacGyver, beat it. Monday. Wednesday. What are you guys doing over here? Trying to look cool. Perfect strangers. <laughs> then. I study nuclear science. I love my classes. I got a crazy teacher. He wears dark glasses. A new wave's taken over on head of the class after perfect strangers. Wednesday. school? Boy, I do. I'm so hungry, I could eat a wagon wheel. When I'm slow on the draw and I need something to chaw, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. <laughs> when my ten-gallon hats are feeling five gallons flat, I got something planned, which is little cheese sandwiches. Come on! Here's a great little snack to tide you over till dinner. If you want something delicious and nutritious, cheese is a super snack. Look, a wagon wheel. When my get up and go has got up and went, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. When I'm dancing, I hold down and my boots kind of slow down, or any time I'm weak in the knees. I hanker for a hunk of, a slab or slice a chunk of, a snack or is a winner, and yet won't spoil my dinner. I hanker for a hunk of cheese. Yahoo!
choose home entertainment this holiday season from Camelot Music. Over 40,000 titles on CD and cassette, including Siamese Dream from the Smashing Pumpkins and Promised Land from Queensryche. And check out Euthanasia from Megadeth. All three hot releases, just a few of our favorite things this holiday season at Camelot Music. You can earn more free gifts with the bigger and better repeat performer program at Camelot Music. In the land of Dairy Queen, we treat you right. There's a sale where everything's smooth, flowing, delightful. It's in the land of the Dairy Queen Sunday. Come discover the land where good taste comes through. Buy one Dairy Queen Sunday, get another one free. This Thursday only at Dairy Queen. In the land of Dairy Queen, we treat you right. The ultimate shopping odyssey. Madison Square. At Madison Square, dads deserve the best. From the electronic genius to the fashion plate to the physical fitness buff, Madison Square has it all. There's even gift certificates good at any store. Dads deserve the best on Father's Day this June 16th. And Madison Square has just the right gift. It's all at Madison Square, the ultimate shopping odyssey. <laughs> Little Caesars, two pizzas for $8.98, plus a free eight-piece order of crazy bread and a free 32-ounce Coke Classic. Enough food to make a family meal into a party party. Fruit Corners, Fruit Roll-Ups. It's real fruit and fun rolled up in one. I want to peel them when I'm sunning. I want to wave them when I'm falling. The chewy snack made from real fruit. Fruit Corners Fruit Roll Ups. I want real fruit and fun rolls up in one. Fruit Corners Fruit Roll Ups. Real fruit and fun rolled up in one. Where are you going? To see the new ponies. Look at the new little ponies there. My little pony, new little pony. I love to comb their beautiful hair. I love their new curly hair. Pegasus ponies. New unicorn ponies just for you. My Little Pony, New Little Pony. They're like a dream come true. You're beautiful, my little pony. New My Little Ponies, each sold separately from Hasbro. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. Wherever I go, he goes. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. Wherever I go, he goes. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. My buddy and me. Kids, sister, kids, sister, kids, sister. Kids, sister. Wherever I go. Buddy and Kid Sister. Eat sold separately from Play School. Burger King presents Broiling versus Frying. I just can't figure it out. Everybody knows Frank Broiling beats Frying nearly three to one. It's all over town. And McDonald's is frying their hamburgers all over town. Well, I like them flame broiled. So what are you going to do? I got it. Go to Burger King. Aren't you hungry for Burger King now? Friday on L.A. Law. Go in trouble? Will Kuzak's romance blossom? You are pestering me beyond the limits of good taste. Or will his motion be denied Friday? This is Bill Cosby. You say, everything I am today I owe to one man. Malcolm Jamal Warner, the host on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Wasn't that special? That was fantastic. 
<laughs> Thank you. All right. Settle down, everybody. Settle down. That's right. That's right. We got some stuff to talk about. Oh, God. <clears throat> okay. Here's something I want to talk about. Yeah. Let me see if I can point. Okay. Lay it on, lay it on me, Eric. See all of these, uh, you know, shelves and Shel- you know, shelves just looks like a bunch of junk. It yep. kind of is. I mean, it's just junk, right? Stop. Cables, adapters, actually nope. tapes. That's not junk. All of the tapes that we have are on things on one stairs. might need so. in the course of, you know, putting things together. Yeah. <laughs> well, right in the top. Is uh, I I uh, sell stuff on eBay constantly. I always have a big listing of stuff. I have like yeah. twenty five things probably listed right now. Yeah. The top shelf is what I use to like uh, you know ship stuff. It's got tape. It's got uh, padded bags. It's got you know all of my shipping stuff. Also, the products I'm selling are up there, and I'm like, okay, cool. I just made a sale. All right, let me go get it. So I get up there and I'm pulling down stuff, and then I find. There's a, a box I didn't even know about. Do you know what I'm about to say? Do you know what this is? Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because I have not mentioned, I haven't told Daryl this story. I haven't told anybody this story at all. I just, it just happened. And I was like, uh, kind of freaked out. It's kind of weird. It's kind of awesome though. But hold on, I'll, I'll wait for Daryl to come back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm pulling down, you know, my boxes and all this stuff, and and then yeah. and then I notice this rolls out, and I'm like, Casio, <laughs> really? What? And I'm like, what is that? That's okay. Well, maybe it's an old box, and I maybe was gonna like maybe reuse it as a shipping box because all the stuff I sell is real small. It's like adapters and things like that, little uh, power components and things. So then I open it up and I pull this baby out. Like that is the Casio freaking calculator watch. And I don't, I don't know if um, it is beautiful. I I don't know if you uh, have got that picture handy. Um, (laughs) But uh, there's a picture. Um, so I I uh, I hid that there last time I was there. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I I so I had intended for this longest time to do this like uh, like a video, some video, yeah, and and then uh, I surprised you with it, but. Um, uh <laughs> no biggie. Did so you this, have one too? Th- this is the video. This is the the watch that I had, which was not a calculator watch. Oh really yeah, simple. yeah. Okay. So okay. there's a, there's a picture um, of us at Randolph in the um, the cafeteria. Okay. Oh yeah, right, yeah. right. That's and on uh, our Instagram, I believe, right? If you can, if you can find that picture. Um, you're wearing the calculator watch and I'm wearing this. And so Oh, uh, see we're uh, we're wearing it uh let's see if I can uh in that last video somebody actually commented and was like, "Hey Eric, is that a Casio uh calculator oh, watch?" Yeah, yeah, and calculator I replied, watch. I was like, "Yep, yeah. sure is." And um you can see it in a couple different shots. There it is again. <clears throat> but we have the uh I have the let's see if I can get this up here. On Instagram, you can see it a little better there. Yeah, yeah. Um and then you said uh there's another shot of us at school, right? Yeah, the one from Randolph where we're in the cafeteria and like uh Oh yeah, yeah, the table yeah. And I'm, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Because yeah. you can see both of our watches. Uh, that's this one. Oh, I'm and then that's the one. one you had. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And this is the one and, I had. That's so crazy. Yeah. So, so I uh, haven't even taken it out of the uh, of the thing yet because I was just like, I'm just gonna leave it here. And and 
I, I was like, I, I need to ask Daryl because who in the world else, how would that ever be there? I totally and then I thought, well, the show's tomorrow. Yeah, let me just wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. And the battery's ticking away. Like it's already like activated and everything. I'll take, uh, I'll take my. That is crazy. My other watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I remember putting this thing on. That and actually, back, back in the day, I always wore watches on my right wrist, so I'm going to put it on my right wrist. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, re I remember this. Exactly. There it is. Boom. Haven't worn this watch in 30-something years. 33 years. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> and it's not crazy. It's, like, so familiar. <laughs> Even the... the <laughs> the clasp and everything the feeling of it that's freaking crazy i can like type stuff beep, 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 beep. i don't even remember how to get to calculator mode i think you have to go over to the calculator mode or something but i remember using it in school because <laughs> you know it's like cheating but you know <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I saw that little face up there, the burglar. So, I mean, I I actually, I've been, you know, I've been talking about doing like a watch video, a watch video, a watch video. Yeah. Where I was going to go through mm -hmm. all my watches and everything. Well, that was going to be like the, the, uh, the finale where. Oh, okay. The so finale. Like, and then, and so, then, but what, yeah. so you hit it thinking that you were going to come back and get it? No, like no, 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 for a so, shot. No, no, no. So, uh, I, uh, last time I was there, I was like, oh, we've never gotten a chance to do it. I know what I'll do. I'll hide it in his studio. <laughs> and then like, if we ever get around to doing this video, I can go, oh, and Eric, go look up here and then. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. It. Okay. Cause I was, I was like looking up there and it was like, a bunch of old boxes and stuff i was like oh he'll never look up here for, for right <laughs> and i rarely do but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just uh, happened to like two days ago well, that's funny go. well that's happy, cool that's awesome ha happy birthday thanks <laughs> <laughs> wow so crazy so crazy and it's like new like what what is it? it's not a, like a reprint right it's mm -mm. like new old stock they they still make that watch Oh, they still just make it? So it's yeah. the Casio Data Bank. Yeah. Um, they still which is, make those watches. Which is uh, exactly they, they like... The watch I wore, which is the cheaper one. <laughs> and then you had the calculator It just never, never stops, huh? They're just like, you know, yeah. don't mess with the recipe, if you know, the formula, if it's working. Um, there's a little... Uh, there's a very thick. Uh, wow, <laughs> right. that's because uh, it's got more functions. Instructions there. <laughs> this one's a, a little thinner. <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't have that many buttons. I mean, most of them are just numbers, but a lot of them are like function. Hold down function, shift, click this button three times, then click the that button five, and then listen for two beeps, and then hit this. I remember this this watch being super complicated like that. <laughs> dueling watches <laughs> so someone asked if you're left-handed but you're not right you're right-handed i'm right-handed um but my um <laughs> when i was a kid my my mindset was like i'm right-handed so mm -hmm. i should wear my watch on my right hand yeah because that's the one oh. i use right oh so yeah I'm, i put I'm mine on go my left look at my watch i'm gonna write stuff i'm gonna use my right hand this is the hand i want to to put oh, my watch on yeah you know? oh okay that makes sense i don't know why i think i started putting on the left because i'm right-handed so i can only put my watch on with my right hand because i use my right hand to do well, stuff such as put my watch on so right and, and i think i think the the theory was like if you wear a watch you put it on your the hand that you don't use so it's not in the way oh right right you know? um oh that makes sense yeah your backup hand you don't really need it that much so when i got back into wearing watches 
I was like, oh, well, I'm just going to wear it on my right hand like I always do. But then I'm like, well, you're supposed to wear it on your left hand. So I tried it out for a while and I got used to it. So, yeah. <laughs> now, now I wear it on the socially acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except for tonight, you're going wild. Not, I'm, I'm two watches. <laughs> Hells yeah. <laughs> Does that make time go faster? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I got to try that. Uh, let's see. We got some cool little um, trivia quiz type things that might just be fun. I hope you like fun. <laughs> because that's all we got around here. <laughs> I'm going to pour a big old glass of fun for you. Once I find the right tab. Oh, this is stupid. I just had this up uh, in my window already, but <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. It's just somebody else's video, but why not? So read the sign. Door knockers, please note that this household charges $50 per minute to listen to any sales pitch, religious message, or fundraising stories oh payment God, required right payment required in awesome. advance by knocking or ringing our doorbell you agree to the terms, terms stated above, above. It's, it's, right it's what we do all day every yeah, day every time we install agreement. anything yeah. all right so it's like 21 seconds but check out what what happens when these random people come to look at it she stops and reads it and wow. then she's like, uh, okay. And then she just like waves it away. And here's the <laughs> subtitles. The little girl says, what happened? She said, go and leave that go one leave alone. Go leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So make that sign. That's a great idea. <laughs> Perfect. Go and leave that alone. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, Let's hop into uh Shall we play a game? a game? Here we go. We need some background music too. Oh, sure. Where's your, uh, where's your yeah, background? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. And this one is Can you guess the 80s movie from one single tagline? Ooh, this sounds fun. Hmm. Number one. Yeah. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going wild with the zooms here. Okay. He was he was their inspiration. He made their lives extraordinary. He was extraordinary. Their inspiration. <laughs> he made their lives extraordinary. <laughs> uh Dead Poet Society. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, it's the only one that really makes sense. Survey so, says what does everyone else think? Hey! Oh, and we got a fast Seen fact. Me. The scene of Williams reenacting Marlon Brando and John Williams doing Shakespeare was completely impro improvised. Of course it I think was. I, I think I probably knew that, yeah. Okay, well, that was cool. Number two. Uh, they only met once, but it changed their lives forever. Oh, I'm... Oh, Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. That's what I was thinking. Okay. I mean, Labyrinth and... Yeah, that makes any sense with the other <laughs> one, so... Okay, yeah, Breakfast Club it is. Yeah, yeah. Hughes wrote Breakfast Club screenplay and only two days. And two what? Days? I did not know that. What was he on cocaine? <laughs> I, I have written two feature-length screenplays in my entire life and it the first one took i don't know the the shortest amount of time it took me was five months <laughs> two day ha, two days yeah but but how many times was it rewritten you know what i mean like are we talking the draft are we talking but still even if it was just a draft in two days that's insane it is insane yeah like I 90 know. pages in two days? That's I have to look that up. pages a day. You had to be on cocaine. Right. 
Uh, another world, another time. Another time. In, in the, the land, age in the age of, of wonder. wonder. Yeah, it's Dark Crystal. Dark Crystal is the place to be. Okay. Nice one. 75 different sets were used in the filming of the Dark Crystal. Holy crap. That's a lot of sets. That's a whole lot of sets right there. A whole lot of sets going on. <laughs> a whole lot of sets are going on. Okay, next. If you've seen one ghost, you haven't seen them all. <laughs> That's how it, that's how the trailer guy sounds like in this one. Oh, that's Beetlejuice, totally Labyrinth, Labyrinth, Ghostbusters. If you've seen one, is it really Ghostbusters? <laughs> oh, I was like, is there something I don't? Is no, this a no, trick no, question? No, I, was, I was joking. I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Being okay, silly. Yeah. Ghostbusters. No. Freaking Beetlejuice. Even the chat room knew this. We didn't even look at the chat room. You guys are smart. Okay, Beetlejuice was originally imagined as a darker film. Beetlejuice, the main character, was supposed to be a winged demon and his uh, with his human form being a small Middle Eastern. I didn't know that. We need to have that one added to the uh, music, the movies we that made us or whatever. Mm-hmm. Cause that's that would be an interesting. I, I don't really know much about. Ooh. Nice. Thank you, John. Mava, Mavado. Movado. What is Movado? I don't even know what Movado is. Hey, oh, best uh, watch ever. I was thinking you meant movie. Like, it's the best watch ever. Like, watch that movie, Call My Butto. It's a watch. Quick That's side expensive. note. Um, there is a song by a popular artist named... Um, uh, uh, <laughs> It's hard to pronounce his name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, write, write that out. Yeah, a lot of bees and <laughs> never know where the peas go. But um, Ryan Adams, Ryan Adams, yeah, song, Ryan Adams, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, called the "House Is Not For Sale." House is not for sale. Yeah, and it's it's like it's really kind of downer song. Um, <laughs> But it's a great song. I've always loved it. And it's easy to play guitar. Every rose has its thorn. Where did you get this one from? What does this have to do with Movado or Beetlejuice? I'm getting to that. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's topical. Trust me, it's topical. Anyways, oh, okay. um, yeah. so Ryan Adams dated um, a girl who was in... Spinal? There's eyeballs on your eyeballs. That was awesome. Beetlejuice. Who was in Beetlejuice? Uh, Winona Ryder. Right. He dated Winona Ryder. And so he wrote a song called uh, House is Not for Sale. Tell them that the house is not for sale. We've been living here. I can't remember the words. Anyways, so, uh, but if you listen to the, the lyrics of the song, you start realizing that, wait, isn't that the story of Beetlejuice? What? Yeah. Weird. So that song is essentially just the story of Beetlejuice uh, in a, a sad kind of uh, alt-country uh, song. Mm. Weird. I had no idea. Interesting. <laughs> that is a very strange bit of trivia right there. Okay. Yeah. It's as real as the feelings you feel. Let me 
zoom on in here. Hmm. What is Castle in the Sky? I don't really know. Is it like an anime? Uh, Pretty in Pink. I don't. I'm not sure. Princess Bride. I mean. Oh man, that that'd be another one. I'd be. Le I'd love to see again. Uh. I don't know what Castle in the Sky is. Like, it fits that one, then that kind of sucks. It's the one we don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Princess Bride? Think so? I mean, okay. I could go with that. I mean, it's my favorite out of this list, for sure. Uh... She also dated Johnny Depp. Oh, that's right, she did. Je uh, Dave Penner from Soul Asylum. Marilyn Manson <laughs> said that she sucks the talent out of people. Oh, dang. Johnny Depp famously had a tattoo called Winona Forever. And then after they broke up, he had it changed to Wino Forever. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Because he's an idiot. Is, is the answer to that question. He's an idiot. Never, ever, ever tattoo a girl on your body. Oh yeah. What an idiot. I'm trying to look I'm trying to look for the uh the thing. It's it's um uh it's it's weird. It's like a um Winona forever, so it's like in a little scroll. Uh, <clears throat> weird. Okay, it's hard to see, but uh, what does Russell Brand have the same one? <laughs> I was like, what is he in here for? Anyway, okay, we get off topic a lot, which actually wasn't off topic, was it? Not Actually, off topic at all. Right on cue. What are we gonna do for this one though? Mm. Princess Bride? <clears throat> JBJ says pretty it's in as pink. It's real maybe? as the feelings you feel. Ocean. I don't think it's Princess Bride. Uh, the, yeah, the castle thing. I See, Jared hadn't heard of castle is. either. Shane said castle in the sky. Uh. <clears throat> Let's just go with Princess Bride. I don't know. No. Oh my oh, God, they God. got it! <clears throat> the writer of Princess Bride asked his kids, I'll write you a story. What do you want it to be about? One of them said, a princess. And the other said, a bride. He said, that'll be the title. <laughs> it's all simple. It's Jerry Goldstein. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. There's a... A, he's a great fucking writer. Uh, mm. The guy who wrote Princess Bride also wrote Sundance. Uh, yeah. Sundance? Yeah, the the, the Sundance movie. Uh, and Sundance Kid. Oh, yeah, Sundance Kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we have a crazy one here. Oh, synchronize your watches. The future's coming, coming back. Back. I would have to say Back to the Future too, although Ooh. I don't remember that tagline ever. Yes. But then again, they spent how much on marketing? I'm sure they had lots of taglines that, you know, hard to remember the marketing material. But if are, are is this the actual marketing material you think, or is this just like, you know, things that are that the writer of this quiz came up with? I don't even know. But I would have to say Back to the Future too. It makes sense, right? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Nice. I was going to say, I, I think we've probably got this one. After Michael J. Fox read To Be Continued, after the credits of the first film, he immediately called his agent to make sure he was going to be in the sequel. That's right. He thought it sucked. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so tired. I was working on... Uh, so he thought family. his performance sucked. Yeah. yeah. And family ties. And I, mean, I was, was literally half, working half, half on a TV show during the day and then filming that show at night. Yeah. 
and then going back and doing a TV show during the day. Like, yeah, insane schedule. Uh, next one, <laughs> return to a galaxy far, far away. Empire Strikes Back. Right. Let's do it. The best Star Wars movie ever. In Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Did you know it took six people to work the animatronic job of the hut? Yes. yes. At least six. It seems like you'd have and more a dwarf than that. to do the tail. <laughs> no, literally. Yeah, they always had they had a dwarf in there doing the tail. <laughs> yeah, because he's so small. That's awesome. Larry doesn't like little people, so I don't know if you'd get it on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this next one. History is about to be rewritten by these two guys. Bill and Ted's excellent spell. adventure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bill and Ted. Excellent. <laughs> the Black Cauldron. <laughs> uh, the The idea for the characters Bill and Ted came came about in 1983 when UCLA classmates Ed Sullivan and Chris Matheson formed a student improv workshop with a few other peers. Hmm. That's pretty cool. And then the movie didn't come out until 89, so there was a lot of years of contemplation. No, dude. It wasn't no, cool. Dude. It was excellent. <laughs> uh, next one. Oh, yeah. You want to read this one? Jeepers. Look who's returning to theaters like never before. Muppets Take Manhattan. That was their best one, I thought. Annie or Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Hmm. Look who's returning to theaters like never before. Annie had never been to theater. Who Framed Roger Rabbit had never been to theater. No. It had to have been the no. Muppets. Well, it could be Annie because this is a remake. This is an 80s remake of a True. 60s. But then Muppets, no, obviously, a, 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 a Broadway play, a Broadway musical, right? Exactly. So it's always been like a remake. I mean, at least if it's un, if it's recorded, then it's already a remake. <laughs> um, but Muppets, you know, like Muppets. that was just a plain up, you know, straight up sequel. Like how many sequels do they have? I don't know, a million. Okay. I, I see the chat room likes Muppets. Let's do that. It was freaking Roger Rabbit. What the crap is going on? Initially, they were supposed to be seven weasels. Smartass, wheezy, sleazy, stupid, psycho, greasy, slimy, uh, to, to parody the seven dwarves. I did not know that. That's pretty weird. Did anybody in the chat room say who framed Roger Rabbit? Yes, yes. Oh really? Somebody dead, yeah. Oh dang, okay. Scroll up. I can't Let's see. Yeah, never mind. That's who got that one? I scrolled up. I don't see it. Yeah, somebody did. Okay. Oh, Roger Rabbit. None of the above said it. And he said and he says, oh no, never mind. <laughs> but nope, you got it. Kermit the Frog here. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Kermit. <laughs> Hiya. Okay. Who you gonna call? Labyrinth. Labyrinth. <laughs> or the Great Who Mouse you Detective. Call? Great Mouse Detective. Yep, it's gotta be that one. Y'all ready for that? <laughs> Y'all ready for this? You ready for this? Did you watch did you watch oh, the yeah. Ghostbusters episode? Yes, I did. Yeah, that yeah. was a, it was actually really good. Yeah, cuz that was for the first season, yeah. It's been a while, but it's been a while. All uh, almost none of the scenes in Ghostbusters were scripted were filmed as scripted. Most of Bill Murray's lines are ad-libbed. Yeah. That's yes. how he did it. It's true. It is true. This man has no dick. <laughs> Excellent. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. We could have done better than that. Yeah. 
Did you like this quiz? Yes, it was okay or no. It was Excellent. Okay. I kind of like this gift though. Can I save this? I kind of <laughs> want it. Can I totally rip it off and use it? <laughs> I want to put it in the corner of the. I always like having a little animated GIF in the corner of the screen. Okay, well, that went bad. That went bad. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Not too shabbatizing. Uh, we have a couple more. <laughs> Tracy, we sucked. Yeah, mm, seven out of ten. Bakes. Hey, man, that's a 70. And that's like all I was shooting for through all of school. All right, it's passing. <laughs> get, a, get a 70, cruise on through. <laughs> hey, man, well, yeah, you know, I'm just cruising on through. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay. All right. So this one might get a little weird. Uh, it says these are obscure TV shows from the eighties. Although I don't know how obscure they could be for us not to know what they are, but, uh, I figure we might as well try. <laughs> Only Gen X will be able to name these obscure TV shows from the eighties. Oh, oh. Freaking snorks, man. That was the snorks. I love the snorks. I'm what? sure a lot of people. Are you sure yeah. they're not the smoofs? <laughs> the, the snorks? I thought they were the smoofs. <laughs> the smoofs. I thought they were the snorts. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the snorts. Hey, it's the California it's Raisin the dude. California prunes. <laughs> prunes. The Sun Mauled Show. Oh, the Sun Made Show? California Raisins Crazy Hour. Oh. Wait, the California Raisins show or crazy hour? I want to say probably just show. You think? I don't know. Because uh, I didn't know there was a specific um, Mike Johnson growing pains. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, let me go with show. I don't know. Boom, got it right. All right, what's next? Oh, the freaking littles. I love them. Oh, oh yeah, this the is, littles. This is another show that Larry hates. The Littles. Little Larry Zelda. Littles? He said that I mean, before? He doesn't like little people, so I just kind of figured. Uh, uh, <laughs> he hates the little people. The Littles. Wow, oh, man. Just freaking cruising. Oh, oh, bosom buddies. Bosom buddies. Okay, what is this show? See, we don't even need the uh, the choices here. Simon and Simon. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Oh, that's freaking um what's his Captain name? King Captain Kangaroo, Kangaroo right? Yeah. yeah. Uh who's he with? I'm not sure. Captain, Captain Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Captain, Captain Jeff and Friends. Captain Fiends. Captain Kangaroo. Captain. Captain Kangaroo. Captain. Uh okay. We got uh Falcon okay. Crest. You think so? This is, I don't know. When is, I when remember is. that from that from that era. So this is finally one I don't know. I have no idea. Not something I watched. I'm not even gonna scroll down. Scroll I want to see if somebody from the uh, chat room can guess it. Um, it's still lagged, so you guys are still in Captain oh, yeah. Kangaroo. The fun bread. <laughs> Wee. What was Falcon Crest though? I want to say this might be it. It's a falcon. Uh, okay, someone's saying the Fun Brigade, Falcon Crest. No, Falcon Falcon Crest was like. Uh, <laughs> Are they just saying it because he's like, manimal? Was like um, a, a family thing, you know, like. Was it Beastmaster? Um, I don't know. I, I really I'm dying to see the choices now. Oh, someone said manimal. Denton, Birdlaw, Mickey, oh. and Hawkeye. Someone said Manimal. Who was it? Somebody said Hawk and the Manimal. Um, yes. uh, TF said Manimal. It was a soap opera. It was and so did uh, 6EQUJ5. <laughs> I'm sure that says animal. something. Uh, okay, Manimal it is. Hey! Yeah! Hey! Love it. 
just never even heard of that. Uh, is this Teen Wolf the cartoon? Or Oh my god. I don't know. But then again, it's not wolfing out, it's just an ear, so I don't know. It's true. It's like an elf. Scroll Can't be Dungeons and Dragons. Let's give us some uh, fucking... Uh... Oh my god, I see Teen Wolf. Teen I see... Wolf. Teen Wolf, Will the Werewolf, and Jackson... What? Where? What? Or Jackson or Were. Jackson Were. Teen I want to say Teen Wolf just because that's at least something I thought of first, so... I don't know, let's see. Hey! That's cool. Got it. Oh, Pac Man. Pac Man. Uh, Pac Man. Like really the cheese balls. Puck <laughs> I mean, that's also <laughs> accurate, but. Um, he it's, has hairy it's eyebrows. Puck Man. Puck Man. Puck Man. Ooh, GoBots. GoBots, totally GoBots. Uh, uh, see how it, simple they are? <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, it's oh. shocking, actually. It's like, wait, four pieces move. That's it? Oh, okay. Yeah. It, uh, remember when you just pull out and twist it? And it's like, whoa, it's a, it's a robot now. Okay, now twist it and push it in. Oh, Shoot. it's a jet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's um, all like, look at me. I'm a robot. Monster Machines challenge of the GoBots and Megatron the final strand. Challenge stand. Nope. of the GoBits. GoBits. The GoBits. Nice. We're gonna get a hundred percent on this one. Ooh, uh, that looks familiar. Oh, first off, I don't really know. It looks familiar. Mm, what the crap is it? Its nose looks like an Easter egg. Like when you yeah, would like hide or something, yeah, like painted or something. Yeah. Oh, look, I did like a lighter shade, a little uh, <laughs> circle around the middle. <laughs> Actually, the blue doesn't match his skin. It's like, yeah, it's a different shade. It's a weird nose. Anyway, anyone know this? This is a weird one. Monster something. Thanks, AJ. Yeah. That's pretty. <laughs> really My dialing pet. it in. <laughs> my pet monster, my little monster. Oh, my little monster, maybe. Oh crap! My okay. pet monster. Oh, my pet monster. There you go. Garfle, or Fritz from Outer Space. Let's go with uh, pet monster. Boom! Yeah. Nice one. Sweet. Nice one. Who got that? TJ Ewoks. or Jonathan Bowers? Jonathan Ewoks. Bowers. Ewoks. Is it Jonathan Bowers from? Um, I don't who's care. Who's the boss? It's Ewoks. Okay. Ewa. <laughs> it's like super easy. Noise. Okay. Ooh, what is this? What is that? What is this? It even says, what is this? <laughs> what, what is this? Oh yeah, it says, what show is this? Um, it's a ghost? And a total 80s looking dude. Which I've seen that kid on other shows or movies somewhere. I've seen it somewhere. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, he's just like leaning his hands like. Mm. <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> he's all like. Care Bears on drugs. <laughs> oh, that last one. Oh, I love uh, Mr. Merlin? Uh, I'm a millennium. Mr. Merlin. Okay. The milk commercial. Wonder Years. I, I don't think it's Wonder Years. No. Jennifer oh, Slept he, Here? He was, he was the brother in Wonder Years, wasn't he? Wait, what is Jennifer Slept Here? Is that a thing too? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it's at it. It's a lot it. easier looking at the fucking Jennifer Slept My Here. That's from the yeah. ghost. Oh. Oh, but I saw two said that. Jared and Angela said my girlfriend or I said Jennifer slept here. My girlfriend's a ghost. I don't think I saw anybody say that. Let me go with okay. Jennifer, Jennifer slept here. But I've never heard of this. Is this like a sitcom? Or a, what weird. is this? Hey, got it. Ah, nice work. I that one told I'm gonna have to Google that one up later. <laughs> Ooh. And Robert. 
Weird looking robot. I don't remember that one though. That doesn't look familiar at all. Wait, it doesn't look like a transformer. Scroll down a little bit. Oh, uh, Magellan. Magellan robot man. I'm a robot man. Robotman. Or Robotman. Captain Power. I'm Captain Power. It's not Captain Power. Well, I'm Robot Man. So it's either Magellan or Robotman. Robotman. Ultraman. Robotman. Robotman. <laughs> Robotman. I'm uh, Magellan. Eugene C. Robotman. Uh, I'll be your waiter this evening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm your. No, it's more like. A, Would you like a bread uh, basket? I'll be, I'll be your. Uh, hi, I'm Jeff Robotman. I'm your. <laughs> uh, uh, Raider. No, like a like a what what is it called? Like a stand-in teacher, like your attempt. Uh, you know what I mean? Like in high school. Substitute. Um, yeah, I'll be your substitute science teacher. <laughs> you know, like like a robotman. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay, we're getting we're getting uh, off the track here. What is this, Magellan? It's Captain we'll go with Power. A weirdo. I'm Captain Power. <laughs> it's so cheese. You I want mean, me does, to try it? He does have his hand on his waist, like he's serious about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. AJ says it's a bad um, guy from Captain Power. Okay, let me try it. Captain oh, it Power. was. Yeah. It wasn't uh, Robotman. Kids okay. in the hall. What is this weird robot? Check that out. And that headband. Was this was this an American sitcom? Because this it looks like something you see in like are American, like Iceland or something, like <laughs> some or like or Dutch away. or something crazy. <laughs> yeah, Dutch, totally. Uh, Okay, Benji, <laughs> Zax, and the alien Benji, prince. Zax, and the alien prince. <laughs> My name is um, Scooter. Scooter. Buds, Buds from outer from space. Uh, I completely lost. I've seen I've seen those eyes before on a robot. Is that <laughs> Wally eyes? Did they steal those eyes? The wa a Wally robot. Rub it. Um, Spitterman. It's not lost in space. We gave you all three suggestions. Uh, it has uh, to be uh, one of those three. Yeah. Isn't that kind of what uh, Buds? What the eyes look like a little bit? Anyway, I don't know. Scary. Should we go with Buds from Outer Space? I don't know. Hold on. Scatter. Scare the robot. Scatter? It's always about the robot. I like a bug crawled on my foot for a second. I'm like, oh, Scoot no. bot on by Okay, which thousand. one? The weird buds? The outer, Rrr. the bud from outer space? The space buds? My parents. Uh, uh hey. It's a happy hour. Actually got that one. Nice. Wait, which one was it? Space buds. It was the space the, buds. Space, oh, yeah. space hemp. <laughs> uh, okay, let's okay. see what these guys. Oh, I remember this one, G Force, wasn't it? Remember G Force? I don't know. Let's see. What... Oh darn. Okay, I'm totally down. wrong. Because third G-Force... dimension Star Blazers. That's uh, not even that list. E. Uh, <laughs> Crap. I don't know. I thought it was G Force. I was getting excited. Star Blazers. Uh, I mean, we could try it because it's. No this one is... really knows. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. Let's try it. Hey! What the crap, dude? Hey! Yes! Oh, calculating results. The snorks are happy. We got them all. The snorks are happy that we got them all. 14 out of 15. We got one wrong. High score. That was snorking wait, fantastic. We got one wrong. Yeah. I don't remember, I don't remember which one, one though. Ooh, oh, it was uh, the Beetlejuice one, wasn't it? Or was that the last game? No, it was the last game. Oh, okay. Oh, huh. why did it take a point away? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to check out Buds from Outer Space, too. I have a couple shows now i got to check out. Space Buds! Okay. That was weird. And pretty easy. 
be honest. Ablations. Start spreading the news. Okay. Here's one that has nothing to do with um, movies, TV, music, and stuff like that. Because I thought, hey, let's take a little break from it. And let's check out some style. Shall we play a game? A game? This is... Yeah, how is your 90s be... style doing? This is 90s. And we'll, we'll rip, rip through these because these scrunchies. are probably easy to do. Scrunchies. It's a scrunchie. Bracelets, butterfly, not scrunchies for sure. Ding. How's it? Got it. Oh, bl uh, bl Blossom or... Wh uh, what TV show popularized oh, these hats? Let's go up. Up, 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 up. I am scrolling up. Up, 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 up. That's Wait. down. That's down. <laughs> to the top of the head? Uh, okay, scroll down more. Oh. There you like go. The, oh, oh, I thought you wanted me to see the top. Oh, okay. Uh, what TV show <laughs> popularizes these hats? Beverly Hills, <laughs> Blossom, Animatics, Dawson's Creek. Uh, Blossom? Yeah, because she was from Blossom. She was like the friend or something. Oh. Yeah. I didn't really watch the go. show though. Ah, freaking Brian! Brand. What did Will Smith advertise? Nikes, Air Jordans. Oh, Air Jordans. Tennis or hats. tennis hats. <laughs> or bow, bow ties. ties. It's gotta be Air well, Jordans. He's actually Jordans. wearing some right now. The big old Jordans. <laughs> yeah, the... Jordans. Really weird trick question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh Cher Horowitz made what outfit a trend? Cher Horowitz. Scroll. Uh, Skinners, robes, PJs, yellow, yellow plaid. Yellow plaid? I think. I don't know. Robes, PJs, skater dresses. Uh what movie was that? I think it was, it like, would, um, uh, dang, I forgot. Uh, this is like high school girls movie. <laughs> Forget. I think it's uh, yellow plaid too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Nice. Yes, I was right. <laughs> okay, so let's see. It's hat. What's Thunder the name of his hat? Of pack. Go visor. Yeah, visor. Uh, yeah, it had the the little tent. Biatch. Yeah, yeah. Easy. What did uh, these bracelets signify? Oh, friendship, right? Friendship bracelets. Yeah. <laughs> do they have those anymore? Did anybody do that anymore? I guess uh, not. No, but no, nobody has friends anymore. That's not a thing anymore. <laughs> oh, Clueless was the movie. Thanks, y'all. Yes. I, yeah, I knew I knew it. <laughs> I mean, I knew I didn't know it. Okay, Sunny friendship riser. Bing. Fancy trash onesie. <laughs> okay. Before you head to a Nirvana concert, be sure to lace up your Doc Converse. Martens, Nike, Converse, Ooh. ballerinas. <laughs> so it's either Converse or Doc Martens. Uh, Doc Nirvana Martin? seems like it would be like Converse, right? Because they're all. But I don't know. Like Doc Martens, Martens to me seems more like goth or industrial or, or, or at Converse. least metal or something, something harder than like grunge, you know? And right. not just grunge, but Nirvana grunge, which is like slow tempo. Uh, so I don't know. We want to go. Oh, but I'm already seeing Denise said Doc Martens. Clay said marijuana. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a selection. <laughs> Docs, Converse. I see a lot of Converse. Let's go with Converse. Oh, my freaking God. It was Doc Martens. What the crap? <laughs> Weak. Anyway, see, what do I know about style or fashion? I'd uh, love to these... know what those necklaces are called if you would get the fuck out of my way so I could see it. <laughs> um, yeah, Am right? It, it, it's right it's actually it. Right? Let's see. It's definitely, it's like, oh my God. 
It's good. It's a, it's just choker, but it, like all of these yeah, say I'm choker. Scrunchy laser. laser tattoo. Yeah, I remember those. But why did they have to put the text right there? That's freaking weak. Anyway. Oh, is it choker? Is it... Yeah, it's a choker, but I don't know if it's a tat. It, let's go with tattoo choker because it looks like a, a tattoo. I don't know Disney. I, I don't think Disney choker is even a thing. I don't know. That seems weird. But let's go tattoo choker. Hey! Noise. Oh, what's going on with this one? Oh, Biggie. Oh, what type of shoes was Notorious B.I.G. notoriously known for wearing? Air Jordans, Timberlands, Doc Martens, flip flops. Timberlands. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think he's an Air Jordan guy. Timberlands. Doc Martens seems. We flip flops is is just a dumb answer. Timberlands. So you want to go with Timberlands? Timberlands. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, motherfuckers. <laughs> nice. Oh, what is this? Inside this tiny vial is your name written on rice, seed, seaweed, or wheat. Right. Wow, what is this a reference to? Rice. This is a thing that I never knew was a thing. Yeah, is they, that... write, they write your name on a grain of rice, which is supposed to be oh. super hard. And that's like a little flower or something? Yeah, it's a grain of rice. Oh, uh, it's grain rice. rice. Hey, I got it. <laughs> that was a weird one. Look at this guy. Another popular name for these face framing bowl cuts is <laughs> skater cut, uh, basketball cut, cuts you up, <laughs> mushroom cut, or cool cut. What? Uh, I was unaware that this was a type of cut. I apparently. I had one when I was in my. I mean, it was very bullish. I just thought it I had, was, but I don't know that it had names. a certain length and it falls in your face a certain way. Right. Yeah, I don't know if we really put labels on everything in the 90s, it seems like. No. Uh, skater there cut. A, there was That's no, what I wanna... there was no name for that. Yeah. This is bullshit. So... <laughs> um... <laughs> Mushroom? Sure. Hey, it's I mean, that's kind of lame, but okay. Uh, oh, Clueless again. Murray from Clueless is wearing a blank hat. Okay, it looks like a newspaper uh, newspaper boy hat or whatever. Okay, fedora, baseball cap, beret, or kangol. Oh, could it be a beret? It's kind of squished up. I think it's a beret. That sucks that they don't really show you to show you a tiny bit but baseball not a fedora it's a soft hat i don't know i didn't really know this movie very well <laughs> beret Kangle? okay tracy says beret norman says beret i say kangle a kangaroo papa smoke says kangaroo <laughs> Y'all are changing your mind. I see a lot of bray still, but I do see some car. Oh, uh, let me Hang see it again. Oh, okay. You can't even see it. This I know bullshit. that's the thing. <laughs> Kangol. Oh, I did a search for Kangol, and look what oh. I found. It's not at all. No, it's it's the Gilligan's Island hat. Unless it's this one. Hey, little buddy. Oh, it is this one. Never mind. Is, so why are they one. showing that? Uh, I guess it's both. I don't know what's going brand. on. Kangol. Oh, it's a brand. Oh, yeah. so he's just wearing a hat by a brand name. Oh, see, we don't. I don't know. I thought it was a style. Yeah. Okay. Well, who knows then? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's a beret, but okay, whatever. I'm gonna Let's go, Kango. Yoli just said it in all caps. Let's try it. Oh, oh, 
There you go, dude. It's, it's like a name oh. brand. <laughs> Womi's like, Koga is the name is the brand name. Man, we don't know Jack. Okay, here we go. Which 90s R&B singer made her Tommy Hill figure clothing a statement piece? <laughs> when I was little, I always thought it said Tommy Hill finger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, uh, Alaya. Brandy, Monica, or Beyonce? Oh yeah, Monica. I remember Brandy and Monica. Singer made her Tommy Hilfiger clothing a statement, please. Brandy. Uh, Ooh, Brandy. I'm getting hit by a bunch Monica, of Brandys right Beyonce. now. Beyonce. Brandy. Brandy. Oh, not oh right. Oh my god. Ah, Norman Bates and Clay. Damn, you motherfuckers <laughs> were wrong. <laughs> Who was it? Oh crap. Who was I don't it? know. Can I go back? Go down. I can't. That's the end of the page. Oh, wait, go up. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> it, it just flips this one image, and I can't click the dots, it seems like. Do anybody know what the correct answer was? <laughs> Everyone's like, Aliyah, uh, Monica. Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Anyways. <clears throat> anyway, which character from Friends did everyone want their hair to look like? Monica, Ross, Rachel, or Phoebe? I always heard Rachel. I don't know why they're showing these guys. I guess to throw to you, off, throw the you off the, the <laughs> yeah. trail. Because he's got the flock of seagulls hair going. Yeah, but sure. I want to say it's Rachel. I think I always heard everybody like, sure, you know, saying that. But let's see, sure. Rachel. Sally Wise is here. Hey, she says Rachel in all caps. Boom, got Ooh. it right. Nice. Okay. Cool. 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 Oh, hey, yeah, it's Gwen Stefani. Uh, what did Gwen Stefani have on her face as an accessory in the 90s? No, sure. Um, a septum, a tattoo, a bindi, a labyrinth. Oh, she did have a bindi. Uh, a septum is the nose thing. I thought she had that too. Ah, oh, dang. What's a bindi? I don't know. That's the dot. The like Indian culture oh, wears, you know. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, I it's think a, right. just a, it's just like a little sticker. Let's go with Bendy. Because I had a um, I had a friend who uh, wore those and told me all about it. <laughs> I was like, oh, interesting. Bindi. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, Bendy. He named the dog Bendyana. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got it. Nice work. Okay, calculating, calculating. Oh, what do we get? 13 out of 15. What? You are two? a true... Yeah, you are a true child of the 90s. The we coolest decade two. ever. We missed one. This is bullshit. I think... Oh, really? Luckily Bull... for you, Trent can yeah. time travel. Oh. Mm, er and... Ears perk up when he hears <laughs> time travel. And can Hello. enjoy your favorites Don't coming know. back, back nice. all the time. Yeah. Nice. Classic voice. That's pretty cool. All right, we're we're pretty much winners. I mean, we're kind of losers though. Two points got taken away. Nice. And uh, I think that is. Yeah, we we I, I have so many of these that we'll we'll get to them all, but uh, but yeah, those are always fun. Poop banana, what's a poop banana? Uh, that would be a piece of shit. I wish time travel was real. It is. We're all slowly tra traveling into the future all together. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when you asked that? That was in the past. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Eric loves I don't Jesus. Have a no doubt story. I don't have a no doubt story. Ding 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 ding. All right, so what's uh, next on the agenda? I wanted to get to the bottom of this poop banana business, but are poopy cups real? 
<laughs> are poopy cups real, Daddy? Well, they sure are, son. How'd <laughs> you like some? <laughs> Funny oh, thing about fun. poopy cups is <laughs> they're real. And if you run into your mother, be sure and tell her for me. Satan! 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 <laughs> Man, we need to do another aging metal bands. Those are fun. Should we do another aging metal bands or or start a uh, aging pop bands or something? That's what you wanted us to do. It is time. We, it is time to move on. It is time that we embrace the other aging musicians out there in the world. Genres, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally, totally. Uh, yeah, I'm all for that. Yeah, just to see where it goes. We're gonna we're gonna come back to aging metal bands when Ariana comes to town because she wanted to do she needs to open um, up to us and then we will uh, enter it and, and and set it free. And set it free. <laughs> um, but yeah, we we need to do uh, Alice Cooper and there's a couple other ones. Um, but we'll do the eight. Aging 80s actors. <laughs> Aging goth nice. bands. Aging 80s actors. It's like, um, I mean, Aging actually. Fuglehorn players. That, absolutely. Like yeah. Aging 80s actors actually would make sense, right? It doesn't have to be music. It, You're actually literally seeing them through time. So you could pull up things like, um, like see, like uh, pull up similar scenes or similar characters. Yeah, you know, pull up this actor like being angry in five different years and compare. You know, you could do all kinds of weird things like that. Um, that's actually not a bad idea. And then you could always show somebody super early before they became a star, like on a McDonald's commercial or something, you know? Yep. And because uh, most people are in some obscure. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. But we definitely want to do some like pop or some kind of like rock series you know like uh stuff where we could put like genesis or the police and stuff like that tom hanks yeah so tom hanks would totally be you know one throughout the ages aging barbies <laughs> MTV VJs. We're making comebacks. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah comeback type stuff going on right now. So you know, this could be a pretty cool thing. Jack Black in a Tari commercial. Oh yeah, was it a Tari commercial? I remember he was in something way early on. <laughs> Aging He-Man figures. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, now take a look at the figure that's under, you know, a pile of clothes in my closet that I haven't opened up in 30 years. See, it's got <laughs> spiders on it and there's <laughs> dirt. He's aged poorly. He's aged <laughs> Larry just aging. The thing yeah, about Larry is fun. he's constantly aging right before your eyes. <laughs> he just won't stop. Somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. No. Hell no. Oh, he did the ad for Pitbull. Pitfall. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that. Pitfall, really? Yeah, he did a pitfall. Totally. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Aging cameras. So, uh, when I was little, I, I had an audition for a Dr. Pepper commercial. And, um,. It was, I don't remember like where it was. My mom obviously should be telling the story, but, um, and I forget like how she even found it or anything, but I remember going to it and having to say stuff 
and you say saying lines and sitting in a chair <laughs> and there was you know movie lights and everything like you know a bunch of lights there was a backdrop behind me but it was an audition so i guess i wasn't like in this on the set but i remember like saying stuff and thinking it was really cool but man i must have been real young too probably like seven or eight maybe younger six or five it was crazy but uh i didn't get the part <laughs> Living in a van down by the river. Aging Eric and aging Daryl. Oh, Paul Rudd did a Nintendo commercial. Oh man, Paul Rudd is awesome. Oh, that'd be a great episode. <laughs> it's still, even yet, I, just yesterday I was watching that same fucking scene. I love that scene. Wait, which one? Uh, With it's, Paul Rudd? It's from, um, I, I've actually never seen this movie, um, Role Models, I think it is. Anyways, it's it's the classic Starbucks scene. He goes in, and he's all pissy about something, and ordering a coffee, and he's like, uh, he's like, I want a large coffee. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you want a what? I want a large coffee. You mean a venti? No, I... I mean a large. Uh, well, Venti is large. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> large is large. You know, Grande is large. Um, Venti is the only thing that doesn't mean large. Congratulations. <laughs> You're stupid in three languages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I do remember that. So fucking funny. Oh my god! Because I've always, uh, I've always hated that whole thing about Starbucks and going and you have to use their fucking language, and I refuse to do it. I'm always like, I want a medium coffee. Mm hmm. Venti, and their small is called a tall. I always thought that was weird. Right. I was, yeah, I get exactly. that confused with the medium. Uh, I mean, I just tell them large. I think they're okay with it. I don't think they really care that much. Of course, that that one, I mean, that yeah. scene that scene does one thing. It, that at the end the girl he's with gets all pissed off at him and it's like and by the way venti it's because it's 20 ounces venti 20 and he's like ah oh is that true <laughs> 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 and so uh, i was like oh, i guess i didn't even uh, maybe that, that might be true <laughs> <laughs> but the rest of it's all bullshit <laughs> yeah calling the small coffee a tall is like yeah total yeah you know something no <laughs> media no. or small, uh small meaning, marketing can, can manipulation we fucking small me we all know what that means small, yeah yeah, yeah large and i hate <laughs> when places like like they don't have a small they have a medium and a lot uh we don't have a small uh can i get a small uh coke we don't have a small what do you have? We have a medium and a large. No, we have it's a like medium, whole... large, and extra large. No, that means you have a small, medium, and large. <laughs> right? And extra large. I mean, you could always phrase it like, give me your smallest drink. Like, what size? Your smallest. Right. You know, whatever your smallest is, if it's called an extra large, give me the extra large. But I hit you up <laughs> with the word small first, and that one trumps all the other words right so <laughs> uh so i guess that always works i don't really fucking stand that because that that happens like like they they just like no we don't have a small they're out of control freaking out of control we need to put an end to it <laughs> exactly. we need to make a movie about a team a squad who just takes <laughs> takes them out <laughs> stops all that shit because we probably can't do it in real life but we can put it into it on the on the on the silver screen <laughs> on the um what what are screens now what would you call them i mean like where does that mm. term come from the silver screen i mean that, that would be well that would be from day. the 
Yeah, from a projector screen, you know, usually being silver. But like, what would you call it nowadays? Like the the matte, unreflective screen on your handheld. No, um, yeah. I mean, people watch movies on their phones, but I, only if you have to, right? Like if you're on a plane, or if I you're. Don't know. Uh, I think there's a whole generation of people who like, like this is their main thing. Like I, I yeah, I don't want to watch anything on this. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, people do, but I think I think probably people in our age range only use it when they really have to, and that's just a guess because all the all all of my friends that are my age kind of act the same way too. So that's where I'm basing my test on. But uh, but I don't know what you would call it. You don't really call it the screen anymore. <laughs> you just take the screen out. So it wouldn't be. Um, I mean, everything's on YouTube now. <laughs> so, like, uh, unless you have a theatrical release, which it doesn't really matter anymore. I'd rather have a Netflix release than a theatrical, honestly. If I had to choose one, you know, to have both is great, but the small screen. <laughs> I couldn't watch my phone for one and a half hours straight. So one that green is made out of people. People! <laughs> Do I work for Polaroid? No, I just have the hat. <laughs> I got it for Christmas, I think. Yeah. I just like it. I wear it a lot on the show just because, I don't know. Got fun. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's a hat. Uh, kiss his new song. I want to go to bed at nine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, that's out of nowhere. Did I just get a bing? Something binged me. I heard a bing. 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 I don't know. Things are binging. Uh, I'm too cool to watch a movie on my phone. Yeah. I think that's where we all are. We're too cool for that. <laughs> I like to hear a Kevin Smith monologue about cup sizes. Yes. That seems like something he would say. Eric isn't bald, people. No, I have hair. I'm. It's thinning out, obviously, but it's... I don't know. Uh, I'll, actually, I'm, I'm about to shoot uh, an intro for a video that's coming out on Wednesday, and I, I probably won't have a hat on. Um, let's see. He just wants to look like a South Park character. <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> Sorry, like Green. Sorry, like Green. I used to drink Soylent. Uh... It's you know it's an actual drink called Soylent, but uh, I just noticed recently that they put out a mint flavored one, so it's actually Soylent Green. It's Soylent, but the label is green instead of white like normal Soylent is. So I was like, this is getting too creepy. There's an actual drink called Soylent Green, and you could buy it on Amazon. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. Which I, I like Soylent. I, I don't care about the mint flavor. That's weird, but... I've never had <laughs> Soylent. Yeah, it's it's a it's a full um, meal drink. It's one of those. You know, you uh, drink one per meal. It just replaces meals. There's a bunch of other, like, popular ones. That, but anyway, this one was a Kickstarter <laughs> a while back, and I remember getting in and on the Kickstarter. Larry, shut that closet door. <laughs> Are you guys watching the the wrong stream? <laughs> yeah, are we going to get Larry to shut the door next time? Before he's... Before he's lying. The mint Soylent is good. Oh, you, you've had the mint Soylent? Uh... Well, I... I don't know. It still sounds weird. I tried swimming at once, but uh, when I found out it wasn't made out of people, I could no longer support them. 
<laughs> nice. Nice. -na -na -na. So what are we listening to here? Uh, we are listening to the playlist on Spotify called Royalty Free Synthwave. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Nice. I like it. We don't want any hits. No, no hits. <laughs> yes. Gotta control them hits. Yes. I drink so much all the time when I have when I have gigs. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Cause you're out and about and you don't have time to cook. That's what I was eating them for, or drinking them for a while, but I don't anymore. But man, I like my new watch. This is so crazy. This is freaking crazy. Does it have the right time? It it's actually one hour off. Yeah, mine is too. That is crazy. Can it beep? Let's see if I can make it beep. Man, I need to read the manual. Because there's more buttons than I remember. That's the good thing about um, these. Uh... Hmm? Right? It's upside down. These crystal <laughs> watches. Is they're very accurate. <laughs> so once you set it, it'll stay it, like on time, like forever, forever. Pebble watch. Oh no, I remember the pebble. I never, I never got one though. Calculator watch. Yeah, it is. The Casio Data Bank. Wow. Crystalline power. Kind of true. Uh, random question. Anybody else think of Alf? Uh, else think Alf did the wild thing with Lynn off stage? <laughs> Off screen. Uh, I never really thought about that. Uh, Eric and Daryl didn't need to have a fist fight. I saw them have a gunfight near a swimming pool once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Alf was a pimp. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Uh, let's see. I still got my OG Pebble uh, that I bought off Amazon nearly two years ago. Yeah, it, wasn't, it was a Kickstarter, too, if I remember long ago. Alf was a pimp. Alf was a pimp. Oh, yeah, I need to do my uh, concert ticket video. Speaking of your first concert being Billy Idol uh, and Faith No More. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to do that video, too. Man, we got a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, Wednesday we're getting a new uh, video going up. I need to hurry up and film the intro on that one. But uh, it's going to be a, a very different kind of video. If you're watching this video after that's already come out, then... Yeah, it was weird, wasn't it? Yeah, see, you get it, you get it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but everybody in this timeline at this present time um, probably won't really understand what's going on. But uh, just a message to the future people. The eagle, the eagle is watching you. But that was a message only to the future people. Okay, I'm coming back to the present. <laughs> All right, here we are. All right, so... What's next on the old gender? Yeah, I don't know. What's happening? Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Well, it's been two hours. That's why I, th I think it's that's happening. Talk about that. Talked about that. Mm -hmm. Mentioned that. Mentioned um, it. Yeah, he man. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he man. Man. He man. 
Yes, He-Man. Are we going to do the five episode bender? Is that what they're called? <laughs> bender? I'm all about it. I mean, um, let's bend it. You know, because that's it's like two hours of time. It's like two hours and ten minutes or something like that. Because uh, I added half all hour, half hour episodes, so it's like what? yeah. There, some are twenty three, some are twenty six. I just went in, on the calculator and like, ty- you know, typed it all, <laughs> did a sum, and it was like two hours. I was like, dang, that's cool. That's like a movie. I mean, you know, it's a slightly longer movie, but still two hours is pretty awesome. We could even take a break in between or something like that, or and right. we'll all be in the chat room. We'll just be chilling. And me and Daryl will be on camera, but, you know, maybe, what, 18 other people would be on camera, too? Yep. That'd be kind of fun. Might be kind of weird. Yep. So, yeah, let's figure that out. Uh, We'll make a post on our thingy. And, uh... (laughs) I don't know why I can't think of the word. Our thingy. Facebook. Our freaking Facebook Facebook page. If you're not then, a member of the yeah. Facebook page, uh, we have one, and it's kind of like the de facto where we mention things. So, yeah, look for our Facebook page. It's where we mention things. Oh, this was directed by Robert Zemeckis, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? If only uh, I knew that I What I'd were we have... talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We were talking about Facebook being the thingy thing. And uh, so, yeah, we'll make a post on there. And we'll t- we'll talk about stuff. <laughs> you know, we'll talk about it. I'll remind everyone that they'll need their own Netflix account. And that we're not going to, you know, stream He-Man on the internet like i wouldn't want to do that <laughs> i don't want to stream he man on the I internet to, i just don't want to do it man i don't want to do it <laughs> i don't have the power <laughs> we have the power to be sued i don't think they would sue anyone ever streaming he man but you know they probably just wouldn't like it uh yoli does not have facebook uh, I guess some people don't have Facebook. Uh, Robert says, guess I should rejoin Facebook. Oh, yeah. See, well, we don't want to force everybody. To... Actually, you know what? The reason we brought it up here is because not everybody is on Facebook. So we shouldn't just keep it there. We'll make a post on our uh, community tab right here. You know, on YouTube. We don't have like an email newsletter or anything like that would be a perfect place for it. But, you know, we haven't gotten that far. But you guys know what I'm talking about when you go to our channel at this uh, community tab. We'll post we it post as many stuff. places as we can. We'll do the Facebook. We'll do the Instagram. Twitter. Twitter. You got to have one of these. At least one of these. One of them. One of them. Those things. There, you guys should, not there, not there. should come across it at some point. <laughs> so yeah how about it how about that oh crap that works too <laughs> yeah right we'll just, we'll just blast everything with it and we'll come to each and one at one of your houses we'll knock lightly on your uh, bathroom window yeah. and we'll say are you in there what you doing <laughs> hey we're, we're gonna go live sir <laughs> Netflix thing. So, yeah, it's sign in. Nerd. And don't forget to wash your hands. <laughs> that's that's wrong. That's the wrong login. That's the other one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're all watching them. Cool. All right, I, I gotta go tell everyone else. So, I'm gonna go walk the earth. And then, and then he just dives into the grass and then burrows home. This makes this trail. That's how we do it. That's how we always do it. You know, man, it's very inefficient, so, man. I know. All, all just, that burrowing and digging, <laughs> right? You think flying through the air would be like, <laughs> just like, ah, uh, yeah, just like fly. 
We should try that next time. I don't know why we keep doing the mole thing. It's just, you know, just <laughs> tunneling all the way from a lot of work. Yeah, you're just from like Texas to Alabama. Yeah. And you're like, ah. Oh. Yeah, you know, these motherfuckers live in like Arizona. I mean, that's a long fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> we we could have just like flown. But we're <laughs> we're tunneling. Yes, we're tunneling like weird freaks. Yeah. Yeah. So but anyway, that's how it's gonna go down. We'll either tunnel or fly <laughs> to your house and let you know exactly when to log on. Yes. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're not gonna do that. Oh, okay. You, we're not. You, you have to. You have to look out for when we're gonna do things. So just, yes, just be on top of things. Yes. Yeah. That's how it's gonna do. Hey. Yeah. Oh, Eric and Daryl on tour. Uh, yeah. Uh, is that like a tour of sorts where we creep around people's yards and knock on their windows? <laughs> We're, We're on tour. Underneath. We're flying <laughs> right. overhead. Yeah. I guess. Everyone's like, oh, oh, oh. oh. it's something. <laughs> That's how Eric and Daryl take Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Subtly. They burrow. Above and below. <laughs> no one realized. Don't sell me Tupperware. Uh, yeah, I'm buying a swatch. You're buying a swatch, dude. I had a swatch. I think mine was like a black and white, checkered maybe. I think I, I know it was black and something. Maybe I had some red in it, but I always loved swatches. It was always hard to like narrow it down to one, right? Because they always had a billion different designs. Uh, they still you, do. you had a swatch, didn't you? I never sure we had both? a swatch. Oh, you never did? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, look at all these. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had one, but I don't remember like what where like what grade I was or. I don't know. I, I think I was pretty young though, because I don't think I had a swatch by the time we met. You know, because swatches weren't like cool anymore. I guess in '89. In 1990, <laughs> I bet Larry is hammered right now. Uh, at 11 o'clock, he's he's just in bed. <laughs> Suppose, yeah, Larry doesn't drink unless we make him. Unless Daryl makes something real fancy. <laughs> and then he's like, okay, that's pretty yeah, good. I want to do that. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> See more bots. Run. See more bots. Yeah, he's a good guy. Well, there's spiders crawling around on the screen. <laughs> that's cool. 1997. Oh my god. The 90s, man. The 90s. The last decade. Yep, the final decade ever. There was never one after it. There wasn't. Eric and Daryl, the fantastic lifelong bromance. <laughs> bringing, it, bringing it back. <laughs> That was our show. It was How's good that? to catch up after two weeks. I know. So, and we'll be back, and I'll I'll probably have my gigantic beer next time, out of my Stein. Ooh, yeah! Jerry, Jerry. Ow! Thank you, Jared. Here's five dollars because you Cheers saved me you, at least forty going to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> We all Did saved you? staying in together. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, let's just mm -hmm. all stay in and drink together. It's cheaper. It is cheaper. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Yeah, my tolerance will be real low by next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to take it easy. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have to come back over there while you still have that uh, that bottle. 
Which bottle? That bottle of pills. Oh, let's <laughs> <laughs> make a thing. Oh my gosh, listen to it. Yeah. Like, what, what am I, I gonna do with that? One for me. <laughs> I think, uh, throw it. Here, catch it. Oh. <laughs> oh wait let's see where, where is the screen here it is are you this way uh -huh. here okay here open your mouth oh it's the, the other way it's the other way you're on that uh, side uh, <laughs> yeah there you go there you go there. hey there it is hey there's a vhs <laughs> Wow. <laughs> right. It's like, well, that's it. He's out, and we're both out. <laughs> so, be good, be kind, rewind, all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> and check out the channel on Wednesday. Um, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird. And uh, uh, got a big week after that too. We got lots of big weeks coming up. See you, JBJ Blaze. Oh, he has a question, though. Big question. Are either of you dudes bothering with the new Space Jam? <laughs> the new Space Jam? I'm skipping it. No. Since it really, it's really just uh, Ready Player Tunes Basketball Edition to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I I wasn't even really a fan of the first one. So I'm Neither just, was I. It, that yeah. was past our time. Yeah. To be honest. It seemed like it was too young of a, of a movie. Plus, any kind of sports-related movie, I uh, just wasn't even really interested in. Especially basketball. I don't care anything about basketball. Yeah, the, the only one that the only thing I could think of is like there was some uh, early '80s uh, baseball uh, movies, and those are the only ones I really watched. Because you know what I'm yeah. talking about. They always had yeah. baseball movies in the '80s, like comedies. Yeah. Um, I can't think of the names of them, but anyway. <laughs> uh, and if skateboarding is a sport, then that was my favorite <laughs> of, of the sport movies, but I don't know if that's actually a sport. But anyway, we're out of here. Have fun with yourself and others. I don't know what that meant, but good night. Good night. And peace be with you all. Where's the button? And uh, bye bye. <laughs>
You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. It's true, go home for real. <laughs>